So, you're, you start galloping down after this carriage. After a little way, your carriage starts to gain on the uh, your adversaries. Why are Riding cars being called by cows? Cows, my god. <laughs> Slightly weird. Moves. Um, okay. Heron of Harping is riding beside you on his noble steed. There we go. <laughs> you look like a harness. Looking suitably badass. And, the, and uh, Percy just pokes his head out. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> well, I suppose we will just have to kill them. <laughs> pokes his head back in. And that is where we draw initiative. Percy and Swift, you both act simultaneously. Right, uh, first thing I do... Uh, Get the wheels! Please, never do that again, Brick. You'd put on such a silly face and I wasn't recording. So, uh, first thing I do I is was. I just uh, turn to Flora and say, Here, hold my milk and watch this. <laughs> and... Do you, just ho do you have milk to hold out or something? Because that won't help much. <laughs> well, the, do you remember the milk was spiked? Why am I telling? Why am I telling you this? It, you you, it, you it brought it joke. with you. Yeah, I brought it with me. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe I was thinking of like using it as like a lethal throwing weapon or something. Anyway, I just uh, brick brick. Uh, what what locations are available within this carriage to lean out of slash over? Um, there's <laughs> over. basically um windows uh here and here. Thing. There we go. Goody, I will shove past Nash and just lean out of the window. Well, basically just sit on the side of the window. There you go. Mm -hmm. And... Lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. All right, triple lightning bolt. Okay. What are you I shooting at? Keeping... I hope I'm keep... you're keeping track of your spell points. What are you shooting at? Of course at? I am. So, yes. <laughs> as we all know, the best way to stop something uh, from moving is to remove its wheels. Well, actually, the best way to stop something moving is to remove its uh, bodily organs. Horses. Since this is a cart, <laughs> we do not currently have the ability to do that, and the horse is, like, way out of there. And Brick would never let me kill the horses because he's... Yes. So, I will attempt to use the lightning bolt thingies to blow the wheels from the cart, because electricity hey! plus metal no, plus... the door didn't break off when you shot electric at it. Well, that's because there was someone in the way. It didn't hit the door. It hit no, it did. it did. It did hit. One of them hit the door. The other one hit a guy who was standing behind the door. That you Maybe to get. I shouldn't have said that, but yeah. Electricity oh, doesn't blow things up. Well, okay. At least so, not in this situation. That cart's still made of metal, though, right? Uh, the wheels are. The uh, main body is made of wood. Other horses within range. Um. Yes. Uh, I shall throw a lightning bolt at the horses, because even if it misses the horses, it will scare, still scare the shit out of them. Theory. Alright. Make me an agility check first. Make sure I don't fall out the door. Not quite. Oh. Nah. 1d10. Alright. As you lean out to prepare to do your uh, spell... Percy grabs his flintlock and interrupts your action. <laughs> ah. Because he's acting on the same initiative and he beats your agility. He points his flintlock at you as you lean out and he fires. Don't kill the kid. What? Ow. Okay. And that's a hit. Oh. Wow, he should be proud of himself shooting a kid. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there Ooh. we go. What's your toughness? Toughness, toughness four. Toughness is four. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a hit with a wound. Well, oh. is it a raise? No. Wound. I have one wound. I am miserable. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, that also Gunshot interrupts makes your spell you and makes you shaken. No. Sorry. That's what he's going to try and zap the horses, isn't it? Ah, uh, you dick. <laughs> Luckily, you're sitting right next to a healer, though, so... Yeah! Yay! Oh, I didn't know Norman picked up healing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I guess I just, like, 
get hit and then just fall limply against the door and glare hatefully at the, the thing. We Unable move to swiftly on to Nash. Well, there's not much I can do. I can give him the finger out of the window You've and hold my action. Flintlocks. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and you've also probably got a few daggers. He doesn't throw his daggers. He, he probably doesn't throw have throwing, daggers. but okay. You could yeah, do it unskilled. Throwing. Unskilled throwing daggers. <laughs> he is ideologically opposed to throwing his daggers. Yeah, it's like a self-imposed thing, remember? Yeah. What um... about firing them out of his flintlocks? <laughs> No. <laughs> I like okay, it. So... Maybe if he had like MacGyver or something, but no, it is like no. Next I'm level to bayonets. <laughs> I'm gonna lean out. Yes. Bad aim. You're gonna take an aim action? Yeah. Alright. Pixie takes an aim action. Yeah. Alright, the um The uh, opposing carriage driver. Just gets yelled at, go faster, go faster! And he just keeps, whoosh, whoosh, keeps going faster. Heron. <laughs> I've got something special for you, Heron. Oh, all right. Yep. You're going to get shot as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite. Even better than that. Even more fun than that. Oh, Swallow's going to get shot again. <laughs> <laughs> Even more fun than that. <laughs> I find this hard to believe. <laughs> Who's throwing, is someone throwing a, well, okay, a petrol I might, bomb? I might be, I might be over-egging it at this point. Okay. Um, some riders start coming up behind you. How dare they come in numbers? Shing! <laughs> <laughs> they, they, uh, they don't look friendly. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, if you look closely, they have hoods on. Yeah, they're, 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 they've got hoods. They're obviously bad people. Quick, Heron, they're after the ring. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I'm off. They can have it. None of us have a ring. <laughs> okay. That wasn't my quest. There we go. They will be acting after you. Okay, Heron. What do you want to do? These... The um, cloaked looking men are drawing their swords, they don't look happy. Scream and run away. <laughs> no! It's not worth dying over. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh so what I'll do is is I'd like to uh ready my weapon, because uh mm -hmm. apparently I haven't done that yet, and I'd like to um Oh, I mean, I'd assume it, would, it was already drawn for a little while. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, as, if that's yeah. killed, then... Uh, yeah, screw it. I just uh, <laughs> I just want to move to this closest one and then hack that jamf. You, you want to hack the jamf. Okay, all right. Move and hack, I guess. So I fall back a bit, and then I'm all like, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It. <laughs> have it. <laughs> Is that what you're going to say? You just kind of, uh, yeah, have it. <laughs> 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 is that your battle cry? <laughs> Alright. For the um, moment, it is. For the moment, yeah. Make <laughs> me make me your fighting die limited by your riding. Ha ha ha. My fighting and my riding are the same. Oh, so... okay. Well, that just confuses the issue. Ooh. Alright. You, you want to keep that or do you want to Benny it? Yeah, I think I'll uh, Benny it. Do I, mm -hmm. just out of curiosity, did the Ron Bennies reset from the last session to this? Yes, one? they do. You've all got Good three stuff. Bennies. Uh, yeah, Benny in. Not everyone. No. Why not? <laughs> He's a kid. I get four, remember? Oh, He's yeah, lucky. That's true. You're, lu you're a lucky little bastard. Oh, there we day. go. That's a bit better. Yay. All right. That's a hit with a raise. Indeed. Okay. Rick, I've got to ask, uh, does, do I lose mana for the spell if it was interrupted before I cast it? Or even started no, casting it? No, you don't. Yeah, that's checking. There you go, you're good. Well, not good, but you've got a bullet in your arm, but, you know, relatively speaking. Frustrated. <laughs> Ow. Okay, right. <gasps> Dead. Uh, <laughs> uh, you kind of, like, uh, you, start, you sort of... Sort of go to sort of go towards him and kind of basically swing your heavy sword. It goes through the air, whoosh, 
goes right through his neck and it pirouettes through the air, sort of bouncing around uh, on the terrain behind you. The horse just kind of after a little while sort of shakes off the body, (laughs) kind of gallops away. That sounded like a decapitation. Nice swing, Aaron! After which, Heron <laughs> shakes his sword to get some of the blood off it, and then, <laughs> uh, yeah, cracks on, looking at the next guy. Yeah, all right, good job. Right, okay. Flora, is your go. Mm. Mm. Well, at the moment, the um, Percy uh, fired the flintlock, no, had no <laughs> doubt heard the bang, and the, um, <laughs> yep, then... Swift no falling backwards. Go, oh, oh, my poor heart. That's how so <laughs> forth, though. Actually, a bang nice. done some quiet weeping. It's like <laughs> clenched teeth and growling and yelling curses that you probably might understand, but may or may not be in a different language. Hmm. <laughs> That's fair enough. <clears throat> Whatever black tongue that uh, the Talon speaks. <laughs> He's heard some things. I approve. Well, as I approve, Flora probably wouldn't approve. <laughs> but she's concerned about you, so she'll uh, lead over and say, Swift, Swift, did you get shot? Are you alright? And feeling around him for kind of, <laughs> well, <laughs> blood, obvious uh, Look injuries, for the tears. So. Things are red and hurt, I say, lying and bleeding on the... Still dangling from the window. It's poor. Oh, lady, he's been <laughs> shot. Yep, let's, let's, do, let's do the thing then. My right. spell points the haven't thing. recovered since the last time, because I've only... I haven't actually reset them on my character sheet. Yeah, it's been two days since yeah, the last fine. combat, last time you would used them, so yeah. Right. Now uh, that's a spellcasting roll, yep. Spellcasting guru! Ooh! Each success a pass. Wound, one cool. wound. Uh, I think you say he only had one wound, or yep. he had shaken as well. Uh, I don't think it takes away shaken. Um, but, Not even on uh, a raise or uh, for... no, I don't think so. Yep. But his wounds, his wounds gone though. So that's good. Go. Stop him bleeding everywhere. Mm-hmm. Okay, Swift, your wound mm. heals away, but you still feel a little bit rattled. Okay, the that's nice. uh, your carriage driver just kind of goes, yeah, kind of uh, trying to catch up. We get a pretty really dedicated embassy carriage driver. <laughs> if he survives this, we're going to have to get him a name and a um, an honorary NPC status. He can join the group. Doing dueling. We don't need oh, oh, actually, there we go. You actually gain one space. Oh. <laughs> yep. yep. Yeah. Everyone sh- rattles around inside. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You managed to pull in a bit closer. Um, okay, by the way, if you want to kind of like yell at the driver, that is, of course, a free action. Talking is a free action as long as it's not too long. Okay, um, it's now Percy and Swift's go. Swift, would you, well, recover, <laughs> roll to recover from being shaken. What's that roll again? Spirits. Just checking. I knew that. Mm hmm. Nice. Wow, excellent. You're. Completely fine. Oh, that's nice. And you can act yeah, normally. However, that I'll looks... out the window and yells to the driver, Hold the damn cart steady! Okay. I may or may not use the word damn in this particular setup. Be worse. <laughs> it may be like a black swag, like, Hold the... Oh, <laughs> balls. Um, <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you can, you can keep... I'll let you keep your unshaken status, but I forgot to do the goons. Sorry. The um, goons? Yeah, the goons. Yeah, I forgot to do the goons. Sorry. Right. Okay. This dude oh. rides up to the side of the carriage. Oh, he's within stab you. distance now. Uh, yes, but you are armed with uh, your flintlock. Quick draw! Oh, yeah, there we go. So you basically <laughs> quick draw. Yeah. Um, what do you quick draw? Dagger. All right, really? so your gun's in one hand, and as he's coming, you quick draw your dagger and try and yeah. stab him. All right, make me a fighting. Yep. You still have that trident. I think he probably yeah. left it at the uh, embassy. I don't know. Does he? I don't know. It's in the embassy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think carrying a trident, two flintlocks, <laughs> a short sword, and a dagger is... is a yeah, it's not like no. he's an assassin or anything. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, it's just, try, try just is probably going to appear in that. Was that a hit? Um, is that a hit? Seven. Yep, that's a hit. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. <laughs> that is pretty nasty. That's a D4 weapon. <laughs> Let me just quick deck calculations in my head. Yep, okay, as he kind of rides up to the window, he, uh, Loretta screams as the uh, <laughs> sword kind of goes through the window. As it goes through the window, Nash just quickly... Ah! Ah! As the man kind of like, sort of rides around wildly, his blood kind of gushes everywhere from his neck. You see it kind of splattering along the fields and the road before he falls off his horse. <laughs> Uh, nice knowing you! <laughs> and gallops off. There we I go. Maniacally and repeat the previous actions that I've already taken, except I haven't already taken because time. Okay, Heron. Oh, fuck. Um, you've got some bad news. <laughs> Two bad lads are shooting flintlocks at you. That's a bit rude of them. Ah, so. Well, let's see what happens. It's a good thing you have a shield. He misses. I protect it's... them. Um, Shield. wait, does your... Oh, does that give you extra cover? Uh, plus from range two weapons. ranged protection. Right, very good. Okay, um... Um, one... Unless that's, like, um, damage. Would that be damage or actual um, protection? Hmm. I think it's... I think it just counts as extra cover. I, I'd have thought it, so. It's okay. going to for the case of this and that. Okay, right. Pissing. Um, the first... Bam! The first flintlock... Uh, kind of whizzes past your head as you keep riding. The second shot kind of crang, kind of clangs off your shield and kind of shakes you a bit, but you quickly kind of get back on your horse and concentrate, keep riding. Okay. I ain't afraid of no guns. As for the other two, uh, while, you're, while you've kind of like, you're aiming out the window, Nash, mm -hmm. uh, re-establishing your aim, two assholes try and shoot you with their bows. Meh. They're assholes. What I am can I say? covered, so. Yep, you do have cover. You have normal cover. All right. Um, uh, one arrow whizzes past. The other one kind of, tongue, just kind of <laughs> sticks uh, right in front of your arm as you're leaning out the window. Yep. Okay. And that's the goons go. All right. Okay. Percy and Swift. Swift. What do you want to do? Not get shot by Percy. <laughs> well, it's Percy so still has to have a reload. He might have to reload, so... Mm. Might. Or he might have a second flintlock. He might because... have a second flintlock, you never Not know. Pistols. That's what I did on. It's, it's well, up to you. <laughs> worth the damn risk. Right, I will once again lean out of the window, screaming bloody hell, because <laughs> I am annoyed. And... No, get a shot. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. What? Uh, and, your... and I will <laughs> cast many, many, many lightning bolts at them. Wait. Okay. What are you aiming at? Who are you aiming uh, at? At this point, I am mostly discriminate. So I'm not aiming for the cart, I'm not aiming for the horse, and I'm aiming for Percy. Or at the very least, the people standing directly next to Percy, because this is lightning. You never know. Things could happen. All right. So you just kind of start aiming at the goons who are standing by the windows then. Right. Well, I figure that if I roll very well, you don't want me killing Percy in the first turn, and we kind of need him alive, probably. Yeah. Well, you do need him alive, but, you know, if, if you want to take a risk, it's up to you. <laughs> you might end up rolling a bit too well and killing him, so... I am prepared you. to accept this risk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so, yes, who are you targeting? three lightning bolts. Uh, Percy, Percy, and Percy. All of them? <laughs> All of them on Percy. All right. Well, I think that if, if they're just slightly lower, then you're probably going to switch the targets or whatever. If he, yeah, if, last if, time. if he throws one off, then it oh, probably think, wouldn't hit. The, the second one would okay. do enough damage. Right. We'll third one would probably get so Or he rolls going for 37. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Uh, do you want to try that? Because I get three rolls for this one, remember? No, go ahead. <laughs> one, two, three. Well, bugger. Ah, oh, excellent. Since he's got normal cover, uh, basically... <laughs> Lightning arcs through the air, and all of them kind of hit the carriage, kind of fizzling off it, and the whole kind of uh, carriage just kind of crackles with energy. Rick. Sort of Percy just kind of whoa, Rick. puts his hand nearby. Rick. Yep. On. I would like to Benny one of them. Right. Just, just one. Just... Okay, one, one Benny. <laughs> that works 
a bit better. <laughs> okay. That's... This is the face of a satisfied person. Uh, four, uh, 46, I believe. 46? Yeah. When did I get 46? I decided, I decided to be nice and give you raises on your spell casting. Oh. Not treat, it as, treat it as two hit, I suppose. Well, okay then. Since that's, since that's what you yeah. really want to do, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm okay with and this. And if you kill him, then, uh, yeah. If he dies, he dies. If he dies, he dies. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Um. All right. Um. Uh, basically, Percy laughs uh, uproariously as seemingly uh, all the uh, lightning bolts seem to miss, <laughs> but one kind of curls back around <laughs> and zaps him as he's gliding. <laughs> <So, laughs> he kind of just starts crackling a bit, and uh, yeah, he looks uh, looks to be pretty shaken, mm-hmm. and he looks to be wounded. Okay. Nash, you'll go. Okay. Since I was aiming for the wheel. Remember, you've only really got an angle on two of these guys from your current position. Well, since I was a- aiming for the wheel, mm-hmm. I can now roll 1d4. What part of the wheel are you actually aiming at? Like the rim. aiming at the axle? The rim. The rim? It's like wooden and copper or something. <laughs> You're aiming at one of the spokes in the wheel. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um. All right. That would be, uh, I think, a, a tiny target. So. Since Actually, it's probably... not a tiny oh, target, yeah. it, they're rotating, so well, I had a chance to hit all of them. Yeah, I guess so, but if you're only aiming at one, okay. I'm not. Um, I'm aiming at the spokes. Alright, roll me your shooting. Oh, what the fuck? What is this? Roll. D4. Exploding. Shooting. Oh, at plus two because you're aiming. Yeah. Unstable platform, though, maybe? Uh. Mm, kind of, I kind you know of... if he's in the carriage. And wild. Dog. Yeah, no, I'm miss. Wave that rule for um, people miss. in the carriage. Yep. Okay. You fire off your flintlock. Blam. Pings off the ground nearby. Mm. Okay. Carriage driver keeps just <laughs> not liking the fact that Percy's just been electrocuted. Oh. They're dead. Go on then, Heron. Um. You have your go, my old mucker. Cool. I'd like to try and catch up, and I'd like to uh, shout to the driver as well. Um, so is that going to be a multi-action um, penalty? Depends. Are you charging? No, I'm just trying to uh, get further forward. There's, uh, further forward. Yeah, those, uh, like, like the carriage did, that managed to get further forward. So well, then, get, then you're, basically, you're basically charging. You're basically... Um, uh, you're, you're telling a opponent... Well, sorry, not <laughs> Briar Rose to go as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm cool with... Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. So, so yeah, here we go. Okay. Um, yeah, you gain a bit of ground. Awesome. Okay. You gain a bit of ground and you try and taunt. Cool. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to go for. Um... Role play me, please. It's not a taunt I'm going for. I'm going oh, to shout, you... though. Uh, sir, your lackeys are dying. Your leader is uh, somewhat shocked. You may still get out of this alive. I suggest you pull over. Is that an intimidate or is it just a, a suggestion? <laughs> Uh, well, I was going for more intimidate, but he said suggest to sound a bit nicer. <laughs> is just just to, to or you know, he's going for sa- it's an intimidate, but he, you know, he's trying to take a civil manner. It's mm. like, yeah. All right, fine. Intimidate at plus one, so that's a minus one overall. Roll it. Roll it. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, yeah, that's exploding. Dying. Yeah, that's exploding, by the way. Yeah, it's exploding, yeah. Roll another one. Don't forget to set exploding bots. Okay, there so ten. So that's ten overall. And don't forget your wild die, also at minus yeah, one. Sorry, I forgot the explode in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So ten. Now time for his spirits die. He's just a carriage driver. Alright, okay. He is absolutely terrified by your mild mannered fret. <laughs> <laughs> hey! In all fairness, it's just like had loads of lightning go on and like the two riders that came up <laughs> died no, in second. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay. The current circumstances. I don't want to die, mate. I don't want to die. I'm just the carriage driver. <laughs> he kind of keeps his head down, sort of shaking a bit as he holds on the reins. Yeah, I told him to pull over. If he doesn't, he'll They're die. Kind of uh, uh, as he's kind of ducking down, the carriage kind of starts veering slightly. It's making it harder to uh, stay on the road, which is meaning your carriage can gain some more ground. Okay. Hmm. I think this is going a little bit too well for you, so... <laughs> We're pretty good at this. Psst, Brick, that's the stuff you're supposed to not tell us. Yeah. You're supposed to think it and then make things harder. <laughs> Suddenly, an elder demon appears in the book. <laughs> Suddenly, an elder demon appears. <laughs> okay, right. Um, as he's the old... As another rider kind of like, you know, tumbles into the ground, another one kind of like looks at it as he sort of comes into uh comes into view. And he tries to go for you, Heron. And you'll ha you'll have to charge to catch up with you, so that's gonna be a multi action. But he is, however, going to swing at you. Watch out, Heron. Does he have the, no. the reach there? <laughs> what, what, what's he watching out for? And the this right right lunatic about himself. to fall off his horse. He stabs the horse. I'm, I'm going to use a GM Benny for that, just because... <laughs> he I, swings I get four, and the weight of the sword GM makes him one fall One for off. each party member. I'm using one of them. What's, what's your parry? parry? That's why you're here, boss. parry is... I believe Ooh, she'll give some extra parry. Yes. Yeah. Okay, right. Um, another rider comes up towards you, swings down, clang! You block him with your shields as you continue to ride. Okay. Flora, it's your go. Hmm. Uh, not much Flora can do at this point, but that's okay. She'll uh, keep on standby for when there is something she is needed for. All right. The driver continues to try and gain. Right. Okay. Because he's absolutely terrified and he's not very good at uh, controlling the horses. That's minus there two. There we go. Your rider, your uh, driver, however, is unimpeded and gains a bit more ground. Practically right behind them now. Oh! Is it time to climb out onto the top and then jump? Yeah, I was yes. thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you an extra experience point, anyone who does that. <laughs> I'm doing really? it! I'm doing it! <laughs> oh, but yeah, you probably do it. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Right. Is jumping a skill or is it just a strength check? Or agility um, check? Oh. Yep, I can't forget the goons. Before any of that happens, Nash, um, you're going to get a couple of goons who are going to try and shoot you with their arrows. So yeah. Have fun with that. Not with the bows. They're going to shoot them with <laughs> their arrows. Yeah, shoot them with your arrows. <laughs> right. Well, have none Sorry. of you played Minecraft before. Sorry. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, come on, <laughs> you can ace once in a while. All right. Uh, however... Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's two other bastards. They're going to have to reload their flintlocks, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, well. If I could just get a bit more better luck on my rolls. All right. <laughs> okay. Um... And that was when Brick realised most DMs have a GM screen. 
They're mm. the bad guys. <laughs> what, James Bond hardly ever gets shot now, does he? Well, you see, I'm not a bastard. I, I'm not a bastard um, uh, swallow. I'm not going to just Plot <laughs> make armor. hidden rolls and Is say... Higher chase. Oh, oh yes, I got 12. I hit you with two raises. That's what it said behind the GM screen. <laughs> um, okay, right. Um, it's now Percy and Swift's go. And uh, that means I get to try and recover from being shaken. Uh, Actually, I'm going to spend a GM ben Benny to instantly recover Percy from being uh, shaken. That gives me because you to... don't trust your rolling. <laughs> no, I don't. No. I still have many power points, Brick. That's fine. Good. But I can't hear. Get the horses. That's too easy. I mean, Brick put so much effort into setting this chase up, but I don't want to end it like that. So I, I really want to throw jump a dagger. You gonna <laughs> throw a dagger? Okay. I'm gonna throw a dagger at the horseman that is chasing Heron. Wait, what? Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> this you gonna hit me? <laughs> at the Only if he gets chasing like a one. Heron. And I've got three more bennies, so I'm fine. It's fine. He Besides, you got a shield. You're fine. You're okay. Yeah, you are fine because I'm the one that's going to get hit with the dagger. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be funny. But, but, don't worry. Throwing is one of my main skills. Oh, okay, okay. Go on. Throw, throw me a dagger. Ooh. <laughs> Head right. Throwing nice. is one of my main skills. That's Damn nicely it. done. That is a hit with a raise. Right. I haven't actually hit anyone with a dagger. <laughs> right, you, um, it's your strength, strength plus weapon. Yeah, strength plus weapon. How hard you throw it? How plus damaging is the weapon? Six. There it is. Strength plus. <laughs> With all the strength of a twelve-year-old kid. <laughs> but you do get an extra, um, uh, extra d6 for hitting him in the right place. My flip daggers cannot be two d4, and yet that says four d4. I think I did the sheet wrong. Yeah. Strong daggers are. Yeah, equipment. One D four. One D four. Yeah. Yeah. One D four plus strength plus six. Sorry, sorry. Plus D six, <laughs> not plus six. Fucking hell. Uh, I can dream. <laughs> nah. Where are you? There it is. Plus six. Plus D six. I'm. I'm not actually sure that'll work. Did I break it? I broke it. Wait, what? Yeah, he <laughs> broke, broke it. it. He broke it. Just roll it. Just roll it. Yeah. Ah. Slash roll plus. Yeah. <laughs> 2d4 plus d6. Don't forget your um, thingy for exploding. 2d4 oh, yes. plus. Yeah, 2d4 exclamation mark plus 2d6. Exclamation mark. There we go. Mm. Seven. Um, seven. Not bad. After all that. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, but you're going to. That's like why this... you use the lightning, because the daggers just don't. You're going to like this, though, Slow. Um, the dagger. Ah! He goes into the uh, arm of the rider. He screams, "You little bastard!" He kind of lunges low as kind of like blood drips down Wait. his arm, and he tries to kind of hold himself up. You were saying something, Harry? Riding roll. He has to do a riding yep. roll or fall off. I was about to narrate that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so he's Sorry. He's so you very around, excited. He's trying to now. hold on to the God. horse, and he does his riding roll. I got all excited. Full, full. This is what okay. Swift is actually doing in the carriage. Full, 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 full. That's a success. He stays full. on. Oh. Right, he just barely manages to hold on, but he is he is shaken, however. I have to recover. Okay. Right. And that oh, means it goes around as Nash's go. Nash, it's your go. Okay, so... Would uh, climbing up and trying to jump to the other cart be a, a, an agility check? Yes, because you're kind of... You know, it's not like heavy-duty clam climbing. It's more kind of getting out and then balancing on the horses and then okay. jumping <laughs> like that. I'm going to try that, then. You're going to try it? Okay, <laughs> bear in mind, if you this goes wrong, it could go disastrously wrong. Yeah. This is what the bed is left. For. All right, and Flora can heal him when he's uh, when he stops rolling. <laughs> okay, you so have to find him. After gets run <laughs> over, a crumpled mass on the road about a mile back. <laughs> we'll go back for him. Okay, so um, <laughs> I'll roll it. 
Okay. Does the carriage driver have something to say while he's climbing nope. out like this? Oh! <laughs> Is that a success? Are you going to nope. take that then? See what happens? Nah, I'm going to bend that. <laughs> Wise move. Take that. Take that? Okay, okay. right. And... Alright, so let's see. What's your move? You, you're six. Six. So that's like one, two, three... Four, five, six. Jump. Oh, and then I guess take your action to jump. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Ha! You manage to uh, kind of balance on the horses and you leap <laughs> across. Oh, they're um, <gasps> Managing to uh, land, like kind of clinging on to the back <laughs> of the carriage. <laughs> Whoa! He just managed to hold on. It's close, but Ooh. you managed to hold on. Good. Okay. Brilliant. Right. Uh, uh, the driver's just like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> you just kind of <laughs> <laughs> tiptoe along the horses and leap along. <laughs> and the horses kind of tries to buck you off, but you're so agile, you managed to do it. Okay. Please tell me you have a knife between your teeth as you're doing this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, that's enough. That was, yeah, he was going to put so. his weapons away first. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. The uh, enemy carriage driver. He shakes off and is like, "When I said I was scared, I, I was, I was only trying to, I was only joking, luring you into a full sense of security." <laughs> Epic. <laughs> oh, sticks his tongue out at you. I want their carriage driver. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Okay. Right. Um, Heron, and it's now your go. Heron looks uh, to the uh, silly, silly horseman. Uh, wait a minute. Is there another horseman? Is it just yeah, one? He's, he's, yeah, he's there. He's just kind of shaking a bit from the dagger. No, sorry. Is that guy? Uh, I thought there was... Uh, he's dead. Yeah, that, rider one's, again. that one's dead. I, just, I killed him. He, the, there's the death marker on him in the top. Right. Yeah, okay. he's pretty much um, gone now. I'm go. not. I'm not going to do uh, anything too crazy, but uh, I just want to shift over a little bit. Okay. And uh, I want to like push him off his horse. I don't want to kill. Him. Just push him off his horse. You just want to push. Okay. Um, that's opposed strength. He is shaken. Uh, does that uh, assist me in any no, way? No, it does not. Oh, oh, oh! I was hoping that was <laughs> nope. going to help me out with that. Beat a one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Meh. Let's Meh. Push him up like this. Got it. Don't roll a one. <laughs> Don't roll a one. Defender wins in that situation. Whee! How many races are that? Yeah, that's, I think I'll take the salmon. That's one raise. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> Damn it, Bon, I said you had one job. All right. I did, I pushed him off. Now, he's going to... This you means he's going to have to make an agility roll to hang on to his horse, but since you succeeded so well, I'm going to give him a, uh, a minus... Ooh, minus one, I think. He's shaking as well. Minus two, he's shaking. Yeah, come on, minus two. Yeah, he's, shaking. he's just been hit with all a right, dagger. All right, he's fine, a bit I'll give wiggy. Him a minus two. Hey! <laughs> the fuck! <laughs> you kind of you manage to push him, and he whoa veers quite a lot, but he just barely manages to hang on to his horse. I wanted just to, I just wanted a silly little boom, and then he's all like, ah. yeah, but he's yeah. He's this isn't child's right play. <laughs> this is real business. Okay, and uh, now right. he's going to try and recover. <gasps> He's unshaken, but he won't be able to act normally until next turn. Okay. <gasps> now oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Right. Okay. Yeah. Next turn, I got this. All right. Um, got some bad news for you. Uh, those goons—they've reloaded their pistols. Uh oh. So. Uh, do I have I'd cover? Like that the yeah, the angle must be a lot harder for them if Nash is hanging onto the back of the carriage. Unless there's a like an open window at the back of the carriage. 
<laughs> oh yeah, that's a good point. Would there be like a is it only side windows or or something? Yeah. Hmm. Didn't really have those. Actually, no. I'm yeah. gonna do something. I'm gonna do something more fun. Ooh. Okay. Right. Um. Hmm. He's thinking through okay. the implications, gentlemen. Yeah, this I'm just because thing. this is like a, this is a non-conventional kind of action. Right. Non-consensual. I don't agree with they're going <laughs> to spontaneously turn into butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Um. I forgot something. No, I haven't. Okay. Right. Excellent. Um. One of the men basically clambers out of the carriage and on top of the carriage and he got right so now this dude you see um, did he move it within my uh cone of implants he did mm, didn't i he? guess he probably did yeah so basically Shank what him. let me He's let me first describe machine. what happens okay he basically he clambers up gets on top of the carriage and kind of smiles as he sees nash kind of dangling on the back as he goes to kind of step on your hands and then okay. take his ankle out. And All right, then... so you're gonna do you're gonna do your kind of quick. I only let you do... <laughs> five. Um, I might make you do an agility roll since you're kind of trying to quick draw and stab while holding on with one hand. What well, quick draw from a mouth? <laughs> Considering huh? what mm. Nash has been doing so far, I wouldn't be surprised if someone managed to find a way to stab the guy in the throat even with this. <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you what, Pixie. If you want to make an agility roll to hold on. Yep. Um, so what it... Yeah. So that it does is. <laughs> okay, right. Um you kind of um you reel back one hand, you kind of cling on very tightly using your feet to kind of go on the bottom of the carriage as you grab your dagger and you um let's see. Yeah, oh dear. Oh dear, that actually Hmm, his parry would be Right. Specifically, his lower leg. <laughs> oh yeah. dear, mm. Pixie! Yeah. I'm afraid that didn't get past his parry. Benny. Sorry. <laughs> Benny. Benny. All right, Benny. Has that ever happened before? Do you, sh you need to punch Very him in the rarely. balls, make him bend over, and then stab okay. him in the throat. How That's many Bennies that... are you on now? Uh, one left. One. Okay. Yeah, well. All right. Um, you manage to hold on to the carriage. You try and stab him, but he kind of whoosh, reels back out of the way. Angered by this, he tries to attack you. Yeah, he was just going to step on your Come hands. On, now he's actually slashing at you. What's your parry? It's seven, six. Six. Okay. Right. He tries <laughs> to attack you, you but you kind of whoa! <laughs> you reel back and dodge it as his kind of his sword goes into the side of the carriage. Ah! He's pretty pissed off at you at this point. Mm. The other guy, however, he just decides to shoot Heron. No big deal. He takes the safe uh. option, basically. Oh, <laughs> nice. There we go. Ow. Uh, <laughs> That's a bit rude. Yeah, it is. Well, deal with it. Come on. Give me a good roll. Oh, for Ooh. fuck's sake! <laughs> What's what's your toughness, Heron? Uh, yeah, his favorites. toughness is five, and he's got a uh, plus two armor on his chest as well. The annoying thing is, is that the armor penetration would have got through one of that, but didn't even get past your normal toughness. So <laughs> <laughs> basically, um, uh, the bullet fires. It kind of like goes into your elbow with a kind of a thud, but between the metal and you kind of turning with the blow, you think the bullet kind of pings off. And you kind of uh, groan a little bit, but you just kind of keep on going. You should have Boom. caught it in the chest or <laughs> had it in the teeth or something, very <laughs> manly. <laughs> that would have been stupid. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. And the other two. Oh, let's see. Hmm. They don't really have a Nash to shoot at from this angle. So. Yeah, one of them's just going to push Percy aside. And they're going to shoot at Heron. Opposing strength <laughs> rolls. <right? laughs> it's consensual. They're pushing him. Oh, it's right, consensual. Okay. It's all consensual in that carriage. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, so once I get in there, they'll let me kill them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You right. have to catch them there. Fires the arrow. Whoosh, whoosh, just whistles right over your head. That that window's getting pretty crowded, so the other guy can't get a shot. So he decides to shoot your carriage driver. I don't get it, Brick. Statistically, wow. you roll more ones than any oh. other number. Oh, oh, oh no! Not this him. could be bad. This could be very bad. <laughs> It'll be fine. Let's see. He suddenly becomes dead. A wild card. <laughs> <laughs> Heal him see. quick. <laughs> Can we give him Benny's by proxy? <laughs> Take oh, our Benny's, whatever you no, need to live. You need, you need a thing for that. All right, you? just think about it. Right, average vigor is d6, so five plus two. Uh, that's what, so he's shaken, <laughs> but not stirred. <laughs> one more, one more, and he would have been dead. Oh, I could. Yeah, if uh, don't panic. If he gets killed, just I'll ride, ride over, over and, jump and off. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'll. That, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn, I kind of wish I'd roll one more now. <laughs> oh well. That would have gotten half of us out of the uh, no, picture. No, say this. Dude, you'll see, Brick. <laughs> I, got something, I got something else cool lined up for my next turn. This is going to be ace. Okay, an arrow kind of embeds itself in, in his shoulder. He just flings back against the carriage. The kind of It starts veering about a little bit. Um, you know, you guys really notice it, and he sort of struggles to kind of keep control as he reels back, just sh shocked at the arrow embedded in his arm. Okay. Don't panic! <laughs> <laughs> Flora, it's your go. Our driver's hurt, I must go out to help! <laughs> what?! <laughs> You're, are you going to try and climb over a moving carriage while blind? <laughs> well, Nash managed it. <laughs> You're blind! <laughs> Nash well, is... yeah, but most of it will be done by feeling anyway. <laughs> Don't okay. discriminate. A rogue, an assassin <laughs> no. and a blackguard. There is many, many things he's capable of. You are yeah. a blind priestess. So, right. it's you're you're being both you're being ableist and classist, are you? Uh, I'm afraid. Oh, no. yes, I am. <laughs> I, I, I to, to tasks that would require sight, which I think mm. this would be <laughs> to find. Mm, but would it? Ah, I don't know. Like, I guess you could sort of feel around for footholds. And... Oh wait, there's a little uh, um, hat latch. Long while. So you can talk to the driver. You can just stretch out. <laughs> you could. You, what? You yeah. You could try like just sort of go where Swift is and just try kind of reaching around. Oh, that reminds like, me. I'm actually there. <laughs> I am not actually there. I am standing by the window, slash in the window. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can you can stretch through. Do you want to try just kind of reaching out then? I don't know if she could physically reach like out through the window, round. Does she have to touch to heal? Arm is long enough. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, she does. Has to touch, 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 touch. touch. Although, yeah, to be fair, if she has a she has a disability, and she pays the points for it, so. If it would just stop her doing things, I mean, it's got to, it's got to have some some impact. So. Oh, I've just thought of another way you could do it. But... Yeah, make a hole, mm. make a hole between uh, <laughs> the carriage and the driver. Seriously, I mean, just make a hole somehow. You can call it a hole. Oh, ask him to reach in. Put your... Yeah, that's another thing you could ask him to reach back while you lean forward. Because there is a, it's I've probably a latch idea there. Of, uh, I, I want you to want, want you to think of it yourself. Hmm. Well, isn't there a little latch? I'm thinking just ask Larissa and Norman to help me out to the front. Mm, okay. How would you do that? How would you ask them to help you? Just hold on to me so I don't fall. Right. So, like, kind of like lean you out the window. <laughs> no, yeah. She'll she'll go. Yeah. Okay. I'm like. So, Sit in the window and then start feeling up and around to climb up and then just make sure that uh, Flora doesn't fall. Hey Nash, Nash, I have a wonderful idea. Yeah? We find a Could... stick that both Loretta and Norman can hold. We tie Flora to the end of it and then we, ma we make it so that, that Loretta and Flo Norman can just point the stick towards whoever needs healing and push it towards them. <laughs> I call feeling. it the stick of healing. <laughs> All right, Flora. Um... <laughs> Tom, um, sorry, Norman briefly protests at the idea mm. of dangling out you out the window, but 
Loretta just slaps him and goes, a man's life is at stake here. <laughs> and, <that> was... <laughs> and he reluctantly agrees mm. as they kind mm. of sort of lean you out the window. <laughs> I will understand if this takes more than a turn to do you know, execute in its entirety because, yep, yeah, all things considered. So you're kind of... You, it's kind of like disconcerting. You just feel a load of wind on your face as you mm, blindly blustery. kind of grope around. Reaching up see. around the top of the carriage, round to the uh, the front. Mm. Make me an agility roll. Uh, minus. No, no. Make me an agility roll at minus two. There we go. Okay. This is you tr- sort of feeling around for the um. Uh, the carriage driver. <gasps> oh! Flora, that wild guy. Wow. Nice. Okay. Um, you, you, you sort of, you're, the wind's in your face, but you kind of grope around. You listen to his voice and you find him and you manage to touch him. Make me a spell Grope around roll. and touch him. <laughs> Groped him. There he is. Okay, Yay. right. Since um, extras don't actually have um, wounds, I'll be nice That's enough exactly. to say you uh, remove his shaking instead. I believe that is well, what it does for them if they are not mm-hmm. dead. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. Um, right, there we go. Yeah. Unfortunately, you have probably made yourself a bit of a tempting target. <laughs> it, it is a risk we're willing to take. The alternative is letting the driver get injured, possibly killed, and we go careening off the road, and all the <laughs> worst things happen yep, to all of us. So. True. Okay, now... Yeah, and the Loretta almost dies again. The, uh, mm. the uh, uh, driver gives a thumbs up, and once again, the chase is sort of even. Mm. Now we have opposed roles with the drivers. Okay, enemy driver. Very Ooh. good. Mm. Your driver. Not, Not so, so good. good. <laughs> mm. Okay, you so lose like out a, bit before. a little bit of ground. Okay, Nash managed to catch them. That's the important thing. Mm-hmm. Let the killing begin. Swift, Noretta. try. There we go. Does Heron also have to roll yeah. to keep pace? Or... How mm-hmm. would you like me to go about that? I'll come to you in your turn. I'm kind of improvising a bit here. This is uh, this isn't really the official chase rules, but it's homebrewed. I think oh, it works. Well it enough. works. I think it works. Um. Okay. Right. It's now Percy and Swift's go. Uh, it's another. It's another <laughs> Mexican standoff with Swift and Percy. <laughs> Mexican standoffs Although... don't usually uh, include a child dangling out of a window, <laughs> shooting lightning bolts at another. <laughs> a, a, a dangling at the window of a moving cart, shooting lightning bolts at another moving cart, which his friend is currently dangling from the back of, for some reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't quite catch the reason why for that. Well, but one it's of his cool. is on is on the roof of it, though, so you can... What I, um, you shoot can the guy on the roof! What I do see, though, is that Nash is currently being attacked by someone who is standing on the roof. Yes. To which I am fully aware that the guy standing on the roof is a dead man that does not realise it yet. I'm going <laughs> to shoot lightning bolts at the other three goons. Right, so you're not going to Dude, shoot yeah, the one him. attacking Nash. Help Nash! <laughs> he Nash does not need my help! Heron shouts <laughs> right. to the car, help Nash! <laughs> Nash is kind of hanging on just by his fingers while his guy tries him. to stab him. <laughs> help Alright, alright. He's been in Fair worse situations. Fair enough. So okay. yes, uh, let's say the first two rolls for the archers and then the last one for the other goon guy. With the First two lock. for the archers and the other for the goon. Okay, make me free rolls. Don't fuck up. Come on. Don't fuck up. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Six, eleven, and two hits. Four. Yeah. Hang on. How many... Do I have two bennies left? I've used uh, two. I believe you do. Yes, two bennies left. I will benny the first roll. All right. Go ahead. <gasps> Fucking hell! All right. <laughs> So, <laughs> two hits with one raise and one normal hit. Roll me damage. One raise. Uh, okay. This. This. Wait, hang on a sec. How was that? Oh, you just rolled a one and a two, I guess. Why is it per- showing as green? Yeah. Then? Ah, whatever. Uh, uh, that's and one without a raise, which is just. 
Mm-hmm. It is burns. That, is that such fun? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is that? <laughs> That's a one d six. You're almost there. Oh yeah, right. Wait, I thought raises mean that I don't. Oh, whatever. Oh yeah, because it's two d six for the spell, not one d six for the spell. That means that the other two need raises. Two at three d six. One at two d six. Well, I mean, you want to okay. redo the whole lot? Probably better to redo. The whole... um, <laughs> um, yeah, fine. Cool. Take a mulligan. Uh, no, I'll let I'll let him keep the. Nah, forget it. Redo the whole thing. It's, it's ruined. It's ruined at this point. Three d six. Okay, three d six. Okay, that's good. And two. Ah, oh, good. Uh, I guess that's, that's that. average. Oh wait, I don't know which one was the two d six and which one was the three d six. You can you can assign them however you like. I don't care. Okay, fine. Um, you shoot a coil strike at the window. It kind of arcs around, and um, gets the goon hit uh, sitting next to Percy. It sort of whoosh, the uh, curtains crackle as you hear a loud screaming sound. Hang on a minute, just for dramatic effects. Does he fall out? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, you hear just kind of a gargling as kind of water boils in his lungs as he's electrocuted, and he flies out of the, as he falls from the carriage window that he's been leaning out of. He should fall. Lightning he should fall. Three he... times two, fuckers. Ah, Under splash, our splash, tires. Splash, splash, splash. <laughs> he kind of just rolls along, and uh, like Loretta looks in horror as he kind of just like rolls past the moving carriage and oh, stretches out because he gets flattened. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yeah, he's definitely um, uh, a goner. R.I.P. Okay, the second guy. Second guy. Okay, second guy is the one, the bottom one, leaning out the window. And uh, he gets electrocuted as well. He, since he's also leaning out the window. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> bad, and that's a natural one. He gah, screams as he falls out. Um, directly underneath the wheel, oh, you hear a horrific it's... crunching sound oh. as he uh, kind of gets under that wheel. Then he rolls towards <laughs> you. Mm. You're kind of the the carriage just kind of clump to oh, one God, side no. and then clumps again. <laughs> oh God! Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> and he oh, kind God, of just fault. continues rolling out along the road. It's pretty uh, pretty nasty, all in all. Am I still holding on okay even after that? <laughs> And the last, the last guy, ah! he just kind of like blows in his hand uh, because uh, he, you got a little bit of um, a static. static. Oh. <laughs> Poor damage. Wasn't so good. Oh. Yeah. Off his health. Poor damage. Well, like remember, like normal toughness is five. So I don't know. Okay, fair enough. Mhm. Mm I mean, all right. Okay, and oh, however, you'll notice. Percy did not try and interrupt you. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because a more tempting target has just presented itself, being dangled in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me! <laughs> yes, <laughs> you! <laughs> oh, oh, dear. It's fine. Percy can't shoot for shit. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes, he can. You got it's a bit fine. Sharp. Flora has 80 parry. Yeah, he's just like a wild card secret agent, so <laughs> why would he be able to shoot? Dear. Okay, crazy. Right. Um, <laughs> all right, so you've got no cover mm -hmm. since you're just pretty much mm -hmm. being dangled out the window. So that's yep. two raises, uh, you know, plus one because it's flint rock. So that's going to be 46 plus one. Hi, Flora. Right. Bye, um, Flora. Okay. Can take this. That wasn't that wasn't a very good roll. I mean, it, it could have been. It's, well, it's an average roll, but no raises, so it could have been worse. Um, <laughs> Flora, mm. what's your toughness? Four. Four. So that's one, two raises, two wounds. Ah. Okay. Ah, ah. Right. Okay. Yes, Flora. As you're dangled out, you're suddenly aware of a bang, but sort of the same <sighs> instant, you're kind of aware of like blood trickling down you and mm. yes there's a stabbing pain and like uh, loretta screams and norman says i told mm -hmm. you this was a bad idea <laughs> <laughs> loretta, pull me in. Pull me in. <laughs> yeah you are you are pulled in <laughs> bleeding everywhere that's pretty nasty okay percy says 
I would shoot bad about shooting a blind woman, but really, I don't. <laughs> I'm going to tear your eyeballs out and shove them up your ass. <laughs> You'll okay. be a blind woman by the time this is over. <laughs> All right. Nash, it's now your go. You're dangling off the edge of the carriage while some maniac tries to stab you. Yeah, I'm going to just stabby stabby. All right. You're going to try and stab him from underneath. Yeah. Make oh. me a fighting roll. Yeah. Raise that brick. Mm, that's not very good, is it? Well, I've got two. You got a whole Tim Swift. You got a whole two, right? Okay, it's difficult to kind of get an angle on him, but in your compromising position, you thrust your uh, kind of dagger forward at his ankles, but he kind of takes a step back. Oh well, you uh, little fuck. Well, I have my. Really off. Well, I have my short sword as well. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, guys, true. Have a jab at him. No! No, you can't! <laughs> I I have... I, I, I'm ambidextrous. Yeah, the two attacks no, implies you have both you hands available just, to attack you with. You can't just release both your hands! <laughs> no, no, no. I can I can hold one hand attack, and then I can... No! <laughs> Why not? No, no! It just doesn't know! That no, was an awesome roll! No, no. Mechanically, no, no. if you're making what? two separate attacks like that, that requires two rounds. <laughs> that... that really... To be yes. fair, it might be just be that he attacked using the dagger in his mouth, and now he's using yeah. his sword. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be like saying, you know, I'm holding a sword and a shield. I <laughs> attack with my sword, drop my shield, draw my other sword, stab him, put it away, grab my shield, then put it up again. That's why I have <laughs> quick, does, draw. Does, quick, draw. Yeah. quick draw. Quick draw. Quick draw. With quick draw, would that work? <laughs> I have quick right. draw. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no, you need one hand to hold on. Crap. I'm being, I'm being nice, and I'm not going to make you do an agility roll for that attack. So anyway. Okay. Okay. I just as long as you keep holding on with one hand. Now would be a good time to just miraculously grow a third arm from your body. Hmm. Mm, I mean, yeah. there are other things you could try, like kind of maybe climbing under the carriage, or I don't know, trying to. Ah, oh, I don't know. Grab his leg or something. Yeah, I don't know. Grab yeah. Him and pull grab him. That's <laughs> grab him and grab him to pull himself up. You'll have to up. wait for your next action for that. Yep. Okay. Right. And um, back to Heron. Ha ha ha! Right. So what Heron's <laughs> going to do? Right. Oh yeah. How do you want to work out uh, if I'm like my distance between the carriage and myself. How do you want to go uh, about just that? Just make me a uh, charge roll, which should be a d8. In fact, uh, I could, I'll could. i do that because it's Briar Rose. I'd, wait a second. I don't want to, I don't want it to be a multi-action penalty for what I'm about mm. to do, though. Well, I mean, again, I mean, the uh, the horses on the carriage, they're galloping full pelt. So if you're not well, going to I don't gallop mind falling pelt, back then... a bit, yeah. Uh, well, in that case... Uh, all do right, you want to make well... me fall back a bit, then, however much right. it would be? You uh, fall back a little bit as you just kind of slow down. Yeah, it's fine. I'm equal to the guy now anyway. And what I wish to do, I'm mm -hmm. going to use my sword to hack at some of the um, the connection between... Uh, like, basically, his saddle is connected to his horse with <laughs> straps. <laughs> I want tough. to cut one it's of the tough. straps. You're going to cut the horse. No, I'm going to cut the straps, not the yeah, horse. Yeah, so not the horse in the process. But... You'll probably I, I cut the horse you, as you're well. You're going to need a pretty good fighting role to do this because that that would require an extremely high degree of skill and accuracy. Yeah, but for but the okay. sake of coolness, that has to work. <laughs> All right. It's incredibly right. cool. It it's just so under the stereo. Give it a go. It, it'll work. You'll see. You'll, it, 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 he's got this. If, if this works. <laughs> It's oh, a hit. No. No, oh, right, that's fine though. You're because, hitting a, uh, you're not hitting a person, you're hitting a saddle strap without yeah, harming the horse no. while mounted and moving. I'm gonna I'm gonna Benny it. Bit, I want bit this to work. <laughs> it's Benny in it, I want this to Show work. Dedication. It's so cool. Yeah, that's man. <laughs> no way! <laughs> the same, the exact same rules. All right, it's not meant to be, is it? It's just not <laughs> meant to be. Still, well, that tried, attack did you, hit you something. Very precisely, swing at the uh, saddle uh, without cutting the horse. 
but it just kind of whistles past and the guy kind of looks at you a bit strangely <laughs> why is he looking at me strange he's he's, he's failed epically he can start <laughs> off. well he's gonna have another go now uh he assumes that you're not trying to knock him off you're trying to kill him but failing uh so he yeah he tries to he tries to kill you Oh no! Not Some no! Not plus on. one. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, that's a miserable. Player. So, uh, so, <laughs> this... on, Heron Hugh rocks at him like, what Whoa. the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to spend another that. GM Benny. This is a battle of looks. You've got. I'm going to spend a GM Benny. Now have you got oh, three left. I think now what? Like one left. I mean. This brings me. I think does, this brings me down to either two or one. I'm not sure. One. Mm. You've used three. One. This is the <gasps> third one you've used. Ooh. <laughs> Goodness. No, wow, no, so fine. all those ones you were building up to, suddenly it just... Killed Harren. What the fuck is that? No, yeah, suddenly you it'll just... be fine. <laughs> I don't know if it will. Right, your parry is four, a seven, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, right, seven. Four. Four. Well, it's four. Lip, yeah. Four. Right. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> Four, right, okay. So that Just is going to be now, five. It'll be fine, six don't worry. Plus one D eight. Okay. Mm. And that's not that that's not that good <laughs> for five D six. Mm. That really isn't that good. Nope. But considering how well he just rolled his D eight <laughs> <laughs> Don't 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 give up on him yet. Yep, there we go. I'll no, take no. that. 21 damage. Okay. Um, Heron, what is your toughness, including your uh, armor? Seven. Seven. Uh, okay. I'd so... like to go for a... <laughs> oh, you can soak that. Yeah, that's another thing. Yep. Soak uh, roll, Do you please. still have a Benny? Last one. Good thing you fucking saved that. Make me a vigor roll, please. No! Don't forget your wild die. The guys are abandoning you. Come on. Ah, oh, <gasps> damn it. <laughs> it's a bit better, though. Yeah, yeah it's survived. a bit better. Okay, right. Let me just work out how many wounds you're taking. So that's 11, 15, 19. Okay. Ah, oh, you only take one wound. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. Ah, oh, but, oh, but now... <laughs> now you have to make a riding roll at minus one. <laughs> have fun with that. And you've got no with pennies a either. With a, does, does the wound meet give him a penalty? I took that into just... account. Minus oh, okay. one for the wound. All right. Come on, come on. Yeah. Well die. Well die. I'll die. Oh! Right, okay. Um, uh, hearing you just kind of insult him, uh, he really pisses him off. He goes, ah! <laughs> and he swings forward with an incredible spike. Just like the last moment you kind of raise your shield, which kind of blocks some of the force. But it's so strong, <laughs> it kind of like not, it just kind of glances up the shield and sort of slides straight kind of across your face and sort of blood spurts out as there's now a big kind of gash yeah, along the side face. of your cheek. And this just kind of completely, you're just kind of blinded. There's blood in your eyes. You're disoriented. And during that time, you just feel yourself falling. No! <laughs> Sorry, Heron, I can't help with scars. Um, please oh, no. roll 2d6 falling damage. Uh-oh. It's okay, Briar Rose will avenge you. Oh, just... See, this yeah. is why I hate magic combat. Are these exploding? I've never tried yeah. it, but this is why I hate magic combat. Uh, yes, exploding. Ow. <laughs> A wound. Okay, you now have two wounds <laughs> instead of just one. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, would uh, does armor count towards uh, the save on that? Because that would be. <laughs> so... You're already you shaken anyway, you so you're automatically taking. <laughs> hey, my dude, wounds. what if it's padded? Oh god, actually, oh fuck, yeah, so... 
Hmm, armor. I'm going to be nice and say it will, but it doesn't matter. You're out of this combat anyway. Uh, well, at least for a little while. Um, right, yep. You uh, you fall behind. You sort of tumble along the ground. <laughs> bleeding everywhere. Uh, you're, you're pretty fucked up right now. Kind of, you hear sort of Briar Rose whinnying as she kind of like returns to your side. That you are out of this combat for the time being. Maybe some nice, pretty young passers-by will um, rush to your aid. The, uh, and the start rider, over the right. just like <laughs> break the night. <laughs> he's uh, he's really pleased with himself right now. I hate that guy. <laughs> I might really like that guy. He's had some like... terrible luck, but he's held on. <laughs> Uh, you, you know, know what? GM, Betty. Come, try and back. push him off, and then I like <laughs> try and cut the thing, and he's all like, "No, have it. Get caught in the face." What kind of cinematic heroics is this? <laughs> Boom. Yeah, <that's laughs> right. I told you it was a child's play. He was not impressed. Okay, right, Flora, it's now your go. Okay, bleeding very heavily. Okay. <laughs> Much as she hate having to, you know, expend precious spell points healing herself when other people need it, she can't really heal other people if she's dead. So she's gonna have to try and deal with these two wounds. Mm-hmm. Good plan. Okay. So, see, I've got a do I have a penalty of two to all my actions for the wounds? Yes. Okay. Well, good thing I don't think I've used any bennies yet. So no. Nope. So you have still got some bennies in storage. Coop. Cool. Is that the right one? Wow, that, that, that right. just turned this entire combat around. <laughs> wow. Mm. All right, right. Even there with we minus go. Two. Even with the minus two. All right, mm. you just kind of put your hand on the, your chest. You feel the healing energy coursing through you. And the bullet goes... Kadonk. <laughs> no, she spits it out. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you are once again healed, Lady Flora. But uh, you are still. Oh fuck! Yes. Had some blood. Shit! You were shaken, weren't you? Up. Uh, spend a Benny to recover from me. Automatically recover from being shaken, and I won't retcon yeah. that. Uh, okay. okay. Right. Do do do. All right, you're now on two bennies. All right, the driver's just kind of... <laughs> but still, ride. they continue, ride they for continue death. to try and ride against each other. Ah, uh, that was a... No, that doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> Pace doesn't explode. That was my mistake. But you do you do, do still gain a four, four points of ground. Rams into the one, back of the other two, one. One, two, three, four. Between the horse and the carriage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 just smashes right through the carriage, destroying it completely. <laughs> Go underneath and mounts it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Um, right. You're now Nash. You now have it reassuringly. You could step back onto one of the horses if you awesome. so wished. Okay. Where's the initiative? Uh, oh shit, where did I put it? I put it down away for a moment. Yes. Okay, right. It's now back to Percy and Swift. Oh shit, no, I forgot to do the goons. Right, before I do that, goons. Nash. Nash! <laughs> Meh. He's coming at you. He's coming at you. I think that's a hit. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Your parry is seven. Seven, seven with, with the armor. It's the guy at a penalty because he's on top of a moving carriage, so that's an unstable platform. Yeah, but Nash is. <laughs> but in that case, I would insist that Nash should have a penalty to his parry because he's. <laughs> I am surprised you didn't give him a penalty to his parry for that reason. Well, I did make him do an agility check to hold on. What does so... the protection do? The protection will uh, decrease damage, basically. Oh, six. It, it gives you get, I got hit. I got hit. Yep, you got hit. Mm-hmm. That's just barely. D6 plus D8. Come on. Oh, for 
fuck's sake. Yeah, didn't even <laughs> Can't check be any me. damage either. Aww. Okay, right. Um, He kind of, like, he's a little worried about keeping his balance, so he kind of swings forward, but it's a bit of a weak blow as it kind of clangs off your armour. Are you wearing leather, or is it chain mail? Red leather. It's leather, isn't it? Yeah, okay, it kind of sticks in the lever a bit. You just kind of shrug his blow off as he tries to steady himself again. Right, what a weak arm. Bastard. What a weak <laughs> arm, I say. The other bastard, uh, with the arrow, uh, he shoots at Swift. Why not? Why not? Because he's a kid and we can't have any child killing in our videos. <laughs> I'm not sure Swift counts Un as a child in that particular way. Unfortunately, Swift has cover, so unfortunately it misses. <laughs> yes. How Gone. unfortunate. Yep. I am crushed. Okay, per <laughs> Percy and Swift, you act simultaneously. I have had enough of this bullshit. Mm -hmm. I've had enough of this bullshit, and so one thing is going to happen, well, to be honest. Three things are going to happen, and you know what's going to happen. Okay. I'm going to take out the goon, I'm going to take out the archer, and I'm going to take out that fucker on the horse that just took out our horseman. Okay, right. So, right, okay. how many spell points do you have left, by the way? Uh, six, I think. Six. Okay. Oh, so this would be all your remaining points. No. Oh, okay, this would take you down to six. Okay, yes. right. Okay, you just kind of, you hear um, Talon's voice in your head. Yes, kill them. Kill them all. Even the one you're not supposed to. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I said that. <laughs> As you feel power course through you, electricity Wipe reach, them out. lancing through you. Them. As bolts go out both windows and make Ow. me your free spell castings. If only magic didn't draw so much attention to us, Ooh. and everyone we pass by is going to see like racing carriages, and one of them is just exploding with lightning. That's not bad. <laughs> um, now, one left, and I think it might be. <laughs> what what about Matt? The one doing the chasing, exploding with lightning, is obviously the good guys. <laughs> um... <laughs> well, especially since we're the black guys and they're the white guys. Since you didn't specify which um, role was for which guy, um, oh, make me a higher low. Hey, higher low, Swift. Um, well, just to, just a reminder, I'm not actually going for Percy with this hit. I know, I know, but still, uh, two of the guys you're trying to hit have... Oh, no, wait, yeah. One of the guys you're trying to hit has cover. Oh, I see. I'm, uh... I'm trying to see if that four was for that one guy. Mm. So, high or low? There's a, there's a one in three chance that the, the low roll was for the guy in cover. Oh, I see. Uh, let's go low, then. All right. Low. I don't see how high and low, which is a predominantly two-party system. One to, <laughs> one to four means... Yeah. Uh, five to six means... Aww. That's a 40% chance. There we go. Okay, you hit everyone. All right. Make me three damage rolls. No raisins. Uh, no raisins. Ah, oh, such a shame. Remember, one dude is on a horse, though. I'm okay with that. I'm not really fond of horses. Horses okay. don't like me. Can you assign your uh, damages, by the way? Assign? Well, yeah, which damage is for which guy. Oh, okay, let's go uh, in order of distance. So, horse, goo, okay. archer. Okay, horse first. Horse, you die! That's the wrong one, I shouldn't roll that one. Horse, you die! Goon, you die! Horse, That's man! Archer, you die! Horse, man, archer. Nice. Okay, <laughs> right, the man on the horseback is going, <laughs> Oh, fuck! <laughs> you see just his body rapidly charring as his face kind of contorts oh, and he kind of like his kind of fizzling smoking body falls back onto the ground and the horse just <laughs> the horse is pretty fucking terrified so it gallops away hmm. out of this combat Yeah, there we go. That was for you, Heron. Uh, the second guy, who is standing atop, um, uh, standing atop carriage. Um, the electricity goes right through his armor. Luckily for you, <laughs> and he's just standing there, he's going, ah! as he was trying to kill Nash. 
He's now shaken. Perfect. Now he's dead. He just doesn't know it yet. And the archer... Yeah, he is also shaken as he fizzles with electricity. Already took four damage. It doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, the way made my fish sad. <laughs> <laughs> the way damage works is if one wound on extras kills them, if not, then they're just shaken. Mm. And if they you hit them again with already shaken, then blah, you get the idea. Anyway, um, right. So you should just fit again. Ah, it's also Percy's go. I like how these bushes and trees are also keeping pace with the carriage chase. <laughs> <laughs> Are there guys holding onto them, running with them? I can't be bothered to move the bloody tr every single tree around with every friggin' round. So naff off. You're not prepared, Brick. <laughs> that's just <laughs> that's just ambient scenery. <laughs> I could, I could, these, I, could like, I could like create maybe two kind of gifts and like play them continuously, but nah, mm. it's too complicated. All right. Percy's just like, oh, fuck. Oh, well. What he decides to do is he, um, uh, basically, let's see. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. good. Um,. He quick draws a dagger from his belt. He takes aim and hmm, who does he throw it at? Does he throw it at Flora? Well, no, does he, does no, he... because I was pulled back into the carriage. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but you're still next to the window. Let's, Let's see. see. Can he actually get like aim? Hmm. I'm just kind of wondering. See. Can he sort of hit? Into our carriage with it. See, who can could he hit Nash from this angle? Do you think? If he Don't out think the so. There wasn't a window there, so. There no, there is a window there. Well, well I mean, not in the back, but in the, the side. on the mm -hmm. side. If he if he he could he, maybe if he leant out, he could get Nash in kind of the. Well, then rib, he'll have maybe. to. But then probably. he'd have to beat... Well, he'd definitely be able to beat the cover with a sixteen. So. <laughs> to be honest, easiest thing would be to hit our. Easiest, uh, carriage driver. Easiest yeah. thing would be to roll. Um, let's see. Fair, I'm still dangling Nash, out the window, right? Nash, high or low? Um, high for hitting me. All right. Um, Nash, you're high. Flora, you're low. Carriage driver in the middle. <laughs> Are you saying Swift's not an option? Um, oh. Flora. I don't, you wouldn't be able to hit him from this angle, though. No. Flora. Um, I think Swift was leaning out the window more than Oh, I no, you're right. He could He could just move to the other... He could easily just move to the other one. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. In fact, yeah, fuck it. I'll do it again. Right. D4. Yep, D4. Okay, everyone pick a number between one and four. Four. Two. Four. I said four. <laughs> four, two, and four. Right, Swift, you get three. Carriage driver gets one. <laughs> oh, oh, if he rolls a four, he gets two dice. Flora! You picked two, did you not? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <did? laughs> Sorry, Flora. Flora, bad news. You're getting hit again, and pretty bloody hard as well. <laughs> Nothing But you do sword. have some cover, so there will be less raises. There's only two raises. So, you know... Don't worry, I'll so... kill enough of this. D8 strength. 2d6. So that's 12. Plus, good thing you've still got some bennies. In fact, you might want to use one soaking this damage. And My figure's not very good, though. I, I know. It might but... be a bit of a waste of a benny. Hmm. All right. Well, I would strongly advise soaking this damage uh, because okay. it is 12, 7... 19 damage, and with your 4 toughness, that's going to hurt a lot unless you soak it. Hmm, okie dokie. So I will, I will, I'll take your advice. Alright. I trust in you. So, straight vigor roll? 
Straight vigor roll. This mm. comes before the wounds. Benny! Benny, Benny, Benny. Yep, you can re-roll that. Spend another Benny. Yep. Reroll your soak. If it's strongly advised, this is this is my last Benny, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, this is going to hurt a lot though if you don't soak at least one wound. Oh! There you go. You managed to soak one wound. Mm. Okay, right. So that's nineteen. So that's eight, twelve, sixteen, sixteen. Right. Okay. You're lucky you healed your last two wounds because you just took another two wounds. <laughs> Okay, oh, um, uh, Percy just goes, Sorry, love, nothing personal. You just look to be the leader. <laughs> <laughs> With perfect aim, the dagger dagger just whistles around, and as you're kind of like a little, sort of your, your shoulder, which is a bit out the window, catches another dagger. <laughs> and you're once again on two wounds and shaken. Hmm. All right, Nash, your go. Well, I'm going to use my move. Uh, you have Started a shaken like guy. That. Well, I'm going to move up. You. I'm going to move up. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, and then I'm going to... Um, yeah? Mm, right, go on. You're going to move up and what? I'm going to slash him in the face. All right, I consider that a multi-action, since, you know, you're going to have to clamber up to his side. So, yeah. make me a fighting at minus two. Yep. Stereotypically speaking, this is when he rolls like 15 explodings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to roll the fighting and then subtract two. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. About you got... that. <laughs> Not much to subtract. Okay. Well, uh, I can still use my other attack again yeah, at minus two. You, still, you can still use your other attack at minus two. <laughs> wow! Damn! Wait, You're is this correct? You shake it. You're wow. lucky you shake what it. What right happened? Now. <laughs> Normally, this is the other way round. I know. Can't roll for Toffee, Nash. and Nash is the one rolling all of these raises. <laughs> all right, okay. You clamber up, but kind of like since you're a little disoriented, you just whoa, kind of bring whoa. the short sword and dagger down. You you just whoa! You almost sort of fall off as you swing and miss, and just try and kind of keep your body weight low, keep onto the moving oh. carriage. All right, Heron, uh, you are <laughs> lying on the ground. You're bleeding. Um, you're, you're not having a good time, but you can stumble to your feet. Make me a roll to recover from being shaken at minus two. Yeah. All right, you're still <sighs> feeling pretty fucked up. Um, Briar Rose kind of... <laughs> kind of uh, gallops to your side and tries to sort of nuzzle you and encourage you to kind of revive from your current pretty fucked up state. Bless. Did but she maybe can't... help me with plus one? <laughs> <laughs> if it were that easy, Moral... everyone would take familiars. No. <laughs> no. Um, okay. Wait, hang on a sec. We were allowed to take familiars? <laughs> If you chose the Beastmaster perk and also, well, the Edge, and you also had the other prerequisites, then yes. Uh, um, that sounds complicated. Yes, there, there, there we go. Right. Um, okay, Flora. Yay. You are two wounds and you're shaken. So, Spirits roll. Mm -hmm. Spirits Minus roll to recover. Two. Spirits at minus two. Well, that's not Spiritual. too bad if you... Uh, nice. Uh, right, your shake encounter goes away. No, you wait, that's minus to... four. How's it minus Why? four? Why? Wounds are all already no, applied. Wounds. And attribute oh. minus two. See? Oh, clever. Wait, what? So, What's going okay. On? See, I've yeah. noted two wounds on my character sheet, and then I rolled the spirit with a minus two modifier. But it's so that's minus four. The wounds. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, so, cool. so that's a seven. Yeah, I didn't need to add another minus two. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Did um, not know that. So that's a seven. It doesn't make any difference, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You uh, are now unshaken. You'll be able mm. to act normally next turn. She is quite good at keep keeping her composure. 
Yes. Even though oh. shot. Oh, yeah. Good. So I have to take that. Yeah, <laughs> mercy. Remember nah. mercy. Like, give me strength. <laughs> Say and watch off. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um. Oh, bugger. Did I remember to do the goons recovering from being shaken? No. I don't think I did. Okay. No. Goons recover. Try to recover from being shaken. First off, what's his bollocks? Yeah. <laughs> he is recovered. So now you're ready for a one-on-one -on -one fight atop the carriage. Well, we'll have to Hopefully wait till you will win. <laughs> He'll. He, I don't think he will be able to act the next turn, <laughs> anyways. The other dudes. No, nope, he's uh, he's still shaken. He's still <laughs> feeling a bit fucked up from all that electricity. Okay. Which means now. Hmm, that's the thing. Would the carriage driver want to kind of? get any closer <laughs> would he want to try and bring it around the side that's the question if we're not giving given him any direction or advice i think just keep pace. just keep I mean, pace. trying to go alongside okay. bit difficult because what, what do they have inside the carriage you know pistols and <laughs> rapiers and things and what have we got <laughs> flora and much, smith much, norman much worse. <laughs> much, well much worse. Uh, right, you keep a Swift and Percy now act simultaneously. He has three goons left, sort of. One he of them is shaken, and one of them is probably about to get killed by Nash. Yeah. Yeah. And when so that's here's my plan. When when that's finished, right. I'm going to shove a dagger into the head of the driver. So. Oh, okay. That's very I'm nice. going to attack the driver. I'm going to attack the driver, and I'm going to attack the archer, and I'm also going to attack Nash. Uh, but I'm going to attack Percy just for the hell of it. Okay. In that order. We yeah, heard uh, a little Freudian driver, slip. Archer, Percy. We heard that. Driver, Archer, Percy. First, driver. I only have uh, six more of these. Driver has some cover from his so vantage if this points. doesn't work, I have one more set. This is going to be annoying. I'll kill you all! Driver first. Mm-hmm. Then Archer, then Percy. Mm. Archer's right. um, done. Hang on a minute, I thought... That was your last six points. That's my points. damage rolls. Well, isn't that your last yeah. six points, though? Coil Strike is a modification of Magic Missile, or whatever the fuck Savage World calls it, and oh. takes one point to cast. I'm casting them three at a time, which three means I cost three so points. Free. So you've only got one more set of three. Okay. Yep. Right. Nasty. Uh, I shimmer, shimmer Breath, which is like Flame so again, or Cone, or it it takes two. Driver, Archer, Percy, then. Yes, but I have to rerun properly because that was fucking damage rolls. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go on. One, two, three. Oh, Driver. Archer's done. Okay. Um, the coil strike spirals away as the driver dumps aside. One Benny side. left. One, one Benny left. Hits the... Are you going to use it, though? Or are you going to save it for potentially something more important? Save it. You never know. Save it. Um, the other one hits the archer. And as for Percy... Yep. You hit him too. All right, make me a troll with fun rays on the archer. Uh, right. And if you get above his toughness, he's dead automatically. <laughs> yep. Yep. Dead automatically. <laughs> he kind of just sort of fizzles out and he kind of slumps against Percy and pushes uh, him aside. Percy's not a raise, right? Um, Percy's not a raise, no. Just a normal hit with the cover. Ah! Right, yeah, that's a good hit. Good solid hit. Let's see, I've got one DM Benny left, haven't I? Yeah. Yes. Mm, do I want to soak this damage? Mm -hmm. right. I'll use my last remaining Benny to soak this damage. So, yanked. All right, nice. There we go. Blue Mac. I soak the damage. Percy, however, is still shaken from the electric shock. I think he already took a wound from earlier, didn't he? So he's on one wound yeah. still. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, right. I thought he was near death from the last time. Christ. Only um, one wound. Yeah, I think he was only one wound, wasn't it? Oh, I should keep better track of these things. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
Um, if you if you get rid of his guards and um, then you know this is going to be pretty bad. And he's only got one guard left now, so it's gone pretty badly for him. What do you mean one guard? <laughs> All right, let's see. You take care first of him. slash. That's a hit. That's a hit. And Make second slash. Roll. Make Double. me a damage. Yep. Damage. Yeah. Jink. Okay, right. Um, basically, uh, you put uh, one short sword ah, in his belly, and as he kind of puts his arm on you, you kind of <laughs> cut his throat. Uh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna kick him off the side? Yeah. Throw him under the horses. What are you? What are you? Under the do? horses. Under the horses. Okay, this is be pretty <laughs> nasty. He just looks at you with terror as you kind of push him onto the ground. Uh, all of you. You hear a lot of neighing, a lot of trampling, <laughs> uh, a horrible clunking noise. And, uh, yeah. Can I That's the end of him. In this round? Can I still move in this round? Um, you... I, uh, I don't think you can attack and then move. I think it has to be move and a... No, I'll let you move. <laughs> if you so choose. Yeah. All right. You move up to oh. the carriage driver. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Has he noticed me? Um, he might have heard the stabbing <laughs> and gargling noises. Yeah, he, he sort of turns around and he's like, uh, oh, All right, mate, a fair cop, just following orders, mate. All right, all right, all right. You should stop <laughs> now. I I can see why that would be a uh, a good good idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Heron, you are still, still Not shaking. Not feeling it too great. Spirits roll, minus D two for. I'm oh, sorry, two for your wounds. Yeah, you can just add. Minus D two won't be now. No, nah, that would suck. Oh, oh. Ah, Heron, you just you're knackered, mate. You are knackered. For, he, got, he got hit in the face and then <laughs> fell off the horse. What do you expect? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're just kind of recovering. Uh, no, by, I, by I, at this point. I think some, I, I think some, uh, like young nubile ladies on the side of the road have started <laughs> fawning over to him, and he's really putting it on. Going, ooh, oh, ooh. Oh, 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 this hurts so bad. Flora, it's uh, now your go. Heron's a married man. Is is <laughs> not like that. You have two wounds still? True, but she's running a little low on spell points, and she's already spent a fair bit on herself, so given there's Heron and possibly Nash out there needing needing assistance, she's going to kind of... She's going to have to fight through it, for everyone else's sake. Mm -hmm. You've got to grin and bear it. Okay. She's, she's not sticking her head out windows. All right, so she's just going to grin and bear it then. Yeah, got to save those right. points. On hold. Mm. Uh, she's carriage drivers. Death, other people might be. Carriage drivers just kind of keep level with each other for now. Uh, I, I told them to stop. Did he do that in his round? That's the thing. If he was to just stop right now, the carriage behind you would crash. Yeah. <laughs> so um, he's basically both the carriages are now starting to slow down. Brings it back round to Percy's go. I think I'm out of Benny's now, so I'm just going to have to uh, recover normally. <laughs> Even with minus one. Okay. Right. Let's see. Make me a fighting roll, Nash. It's such a... Such there a... you go. Out of character skill for Nash. Mm. Five. Right. Five. Oh, that's <laughs> not very good. That's much better. Okay, Nash. Um, you feel your leg being grabbed as you're pulled down and sort of slammed onto the carriage. Percy now has you grappled. You're going for a little ride, mate! Well, you see, you little shit. Mmm. It's not very nice. <laughs> not terribly witty, but... Swift! Yeah. It's your go. Um, Pixie has... Uh, sorry, um... 
Percy has Nash by the leg and he's clinging on to him. I'm so sorry for this, Nash. <laughs> but there is one thing, only one thing I know how, what to do in this circumstance. Zap it. Uh, I ha yeah, I have three power points left. That means I can launch three missiles. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I should. <laughs> Don't. But I do. Trust. Could be it. Oh, what sorts Trust of Trust in the magic. You could use one. Interesting things could happen. Trust I am magic. launching three spells directly okay. at that bastard Percy because I am just irritable at this point. Wait a minute! I thought we were to take him alive. Well, he's gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to take him alive. I hope Flora's got some healing points left. But... What she saved. <laughs> I told you I'm saving them. For those saving for those who need. Okay. Is that at sort so that's two hits. Alright, make me a two damage rolls. I'm wondering if uh, the electric yours! <laughs> It shouldn't. I'm think I'm thinking of making the electricity fizzle through Nash as well. <laughs> nah, it shouldn't. <laughs> it would be funny though. Well he is wearing a ton of leather armor because he's kinky like that, so it probably <laughs> wouldn't really uh, go through. Okay. Not super conductive. No. So the first one, he just absorbs with his toughness. The second shakes him. Yes. Aha! And also means that he releases Arrgh! Nash from his grip. Get him! I'll get him. <laughs> However, yeah, Nash, you take half the damage as like some of the electricity is conducted to you, but I think you soak that with your yeah. toughness. Yeah. Okay. Nash, it's now your go. Well, Percy's just like, ah, ah, ah. come on, mate, score it quit, say. Eh? Yeah, we do. Or I'll kill you. I'd really rather if you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I want to fillet you, you little shit. If you move, intimidation. <laughs> All right, you're just going to intimidate him, then. Yeah. All right, make me your intimidate roll. Okay. Still success, but... Spirits. Um. You're doubly uh, shaken. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And you stop this cart. I shouted oh, that. Oh, st stop the cart! Stop the cart! It's just getting a bit. Uh, it's getting a bit silly now. <laughs> yeah, no. Too bloody right, Percy. You bloody idiots. <laughs> carriage driver says as he starts kind of pulling the cart aside yeah. and yes combat effectively ends i will step over the bleeding remains of uh, ah. of flora just like <laughs> <laughs> carefully i'm leaving her to the care of the other two because oh she heals people so whatever i'll wander over to the cart and crackling with the remaining energy that and of you don't there, have so points. <laughs> at this point. I will pull open the door and just growl. That's it, just growl. All right, yeah, kid. You don't want to mess with this kid. You're angry, aren't you? I want to kill you. I don't want to kill me, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm Percy. I'm a diamond geezer. I'm nice. Yeah. A little bit well, a little bit way, you know. Hey. So glad and to I, be I, amidst the hell of sand. <laughs> I sort of climb in, climb off and climb into the carriage. Yeah, Percy. You don't want us to kill you. I pull out a dagger. So you better start talking. Oh, oh, yeah. his feet. Talking, great. I mean, I'm a great conversationalist. I can, I can talk about all sorts, you know, pottery, uh, flower arranging, whatever kind of conversation topic you I can grab have. his hand and put ah, ah, all right, the see. point of my dagger <laughs> under one of his nails. <laughs> Well, you yeah, better all right. tell us what we want to hear, what we want to know. He needs one thumb. All right, all right. <laughs> what do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? I'll, ve I'll be very talkative. Yeah, so the mission you were talking about, who wanted th that carried out? Uh, well, uh, I guess you probably worked it out. Uh, it was uh, it was my contacts in Lovermore. Names. Well... Mate, you see, um, I kind of get my orders through a proxy, you see? I start pushing the dagger in under his nail. 
Dark. Look, I'll show you. I'll show you where the proxy is. Okay, okay. Look, I. Oh, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, it's it, it, it's magic. All right. They use magic to send orders to me. Uh -huh. I bang my fist on the side of the cart, which I judge to be the thing to make the most noise, and say, "Explain." All right. Look. I. I, I, at scheduled times, I go down to the docks in Steinberg, and I get my orders from this, uh, this, this water spirit. I, seriously, no, believe me, listen to me. It, it, it comes out of the water, uh, it tells me what my orders are, and then it g goes off back down the river again. And you swear this is a Lothar Morian contract? Well, yeah, this is... These are the people who employed me, got me my start. Well then, we're gonna need your sworn statement on that, and then we'll need you to testify in open court. Oh mate, you know, I'm not really that good at open court. Oh yes, you are. Go. Pushing the dagger in, <laughs> under his nail, and flicking. Ah, da, da, ah, ah. Oh, okay, 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 alright, we'll, 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 we'll work something out, alright? Yes, we will. And I don't doubt that we'll be satisfied with your work, or you'll be out of fingers. Uh, yeah, yeah. I want like a necklace from your entrails. That, 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 no, no, no need for that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly happy. Um, you know, good. Uh, Law-abiding law citizen. Yeah. So I'm gonna tie you up now. Takes his belt and ties him up. <laughs> All right. Okay. He's Should tied up now. This? <laughs> it's not that kinky yet. Not yet. My lady, um, uh, those two are appear to be interrogating our friend Percy. Well, out of character, I didn't want to interrupt, interrupt those two. They were just getting straight onto it. And I didn't <laughs> want to interrupt. Um, by the way, Heron, yeah. uh, you have recovered now from being shaken. You're still uh, a bit hurt, though. Maybe a couple of broken ribs, eh? Probably. You how's do, my uh, face? How's your face? You've got a nasty little gash across it. But you oh, expect it to heals. heal. Yeah, Good. basically, yeah, you got cracked ribs from the fall and the slashed face from the sword. <laughs> it's cool. nasty. Heal the oh. face first! Are you sure? I think the ribs are more lasting damage. Heal the face! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna leave a scar. No, so I, I, I guess you kind of get back on your horse and gallop over to what's going on. Yeah, if you fall off a horse, you got to get right back on it and then crack uh, on you. All right, you gallop back. You okay. see Swift and Nash interrogating Percy. I don't know about, yeah, maybe trot. I don't know about galloping. <laughs> I'm in a bit I'd just like to up. imagine... We've got what... broken ribs, mate. Come on. <laughs> okay. I'd just like to imagine what the scene would be approaching this, because there's charred bodies and broken remains all over the place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Heron, you notice a couple of corpses um, uh, along your way. <laughs> just a couple, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> once the, yeah, so for, for Flora, once the carriage stops, she just makes sure Norman's okay, Loretta's okay. If the carriage is fine, we get out. Check the drivers okay, and catch up with the others. See who, who, and what needs tending to. All right, Percy's a bit fucked up. Um, you don't the need to heal okay him because you healed him. Um, mm -hmm. Heron's pretty fucked up. You're pretty fucked up. No, I am, but uh, I'll survive. Got to make, got to see if anyone else is um in dire straits. Mm -hmm. I am still growling as I glare at Percy, and hearing footsteps, I see Flora approaching and just simmer down slightly and say, You don't look so good, Bright Eyes. <laughs> Let me know who else needs help. They they, they, they need to be tended to. Percy's you fine. You should look after her. So the, the carriage is slightly raised, right, Brick? Uh, yes. I would like to poke the wound that is in Percy. Hmm. Wouldn't it's that have been one of your coil strikes? Yeah, I guess, I guess there's a particularly kind okay, of fine. If it's a coil charred, strike. a particularly charred bit on his chest. I would like to slap it with the back of my hand. Ah! ah! Oh, you fucking dickhead! I can't Let's move his that. hand up there. <laughs> can't move his hand up nah, there. Nah, I don't need to up. Right, he's fine. Ah. Oh, you dickhead! Why? Just Nasty. testing my handiwork. <laughs> well, 
you shut oh, up I now for, for a while. My dad wouldn't make that bloody pun. Percy, you shut up for a while. I, I grab his foot, take off his shoe, take off his sock, and jam it in his mouth. <laughs> there you go. Can he breathe? He's got a nose. <laughs> <laughs> breathing through his nose. So this was fun. Yeah. So Heron, glad you, glad you seem to be well. <laughs> How I've, are you? Uh, I've had worse days. Uh, that's for sure. <laughs> I was happy for a bit. Yeah. What, what happened? You're not looking too good yourself. Mm. Let me tend to your wounds. Uh, I'm here to guard you. Uh, I'll only accept healing after you have sorted yourself out. You are a man of oh. honor. I respect your integrity. What a heroic <laughs> you are great as well. <laughs> so heroic. Your well-being is important to me. Uh, your well-being is not only important to me, but my mission also. I interrupt this and just say, Bright eyes, you are bleeding on the pavement. Fix yourself. <laughs> if we take you back looking like that to the embassy, we're all going to get in trouble. <laughs> I dare say we're in a lot of trouble already. Nah. Uh, lady, would I suggest you uh, perhaps uh, deal with yourself before fixing mm. our quite sturdy knightly companion here? I was thinking just that. Ability, self-sacrifice, all that random bullshit. But you do not need to go back to the town looking like that because we will, again, attract some unwanted attention. She's going to need a new dress. Luckily, mm. Loretta may have packed <laughs> something. Yeah, yeah Loretta's got, like, a great big suitcase back at the embassy. <laughs> you still count it? Yep. I think the spell casting rolls from earlier were also um, not including the wound modifier. All right, That's a yeah, wound. You're fine. Right. you're fine, Flora. Woo. Even with like a penalty. <sighs> That's that both your wounds gone. Right, let's do Heron then. Alright, doing Heron. Did you rephrase that, Wait. please? <laughs> How is the child? <laughs> He's fine. Okay. I'm a the little tired, fair. but trust me, I am not the one that needs help here. <laughs> <laughs> You know something is wrong with Swift when you don't hear from him. Well, the louder well, he is, the more in good, the more well he is. That Heron seems old. very reasonable. Hmm. Heron and I'm good. from the horse, then. Mm, six. Okay, you heal one wound on Heron. Hmm. Heron, you still have one wound. Yeah. Still have a gash on your face. You can try again. <laughs> no! No, you no, can no, try no, again, wait. Matt, if you still got the spell points. The, the no, face was healed points. first, right. right? Break the face was healed first, okay? <laughs> That's up to me. All right. Right. Both, both hands on hands on each on both cheeks. Just Loretta just the wall. tries to tend to you. Please, brave Sir Knight, I will tend to you. She reaches into her bag, tries to bind your wounds, wash them. Poor so assist. Up. She has healing skill. Okay, very well. However, I will. Mm, I'm also going to deduct his wound, so yeah, I'll just make it a normal roll. <gasps> there we go. Right, there we go. Loretta is on top form, managing to nice. bind your wounds, Heron. Loretta's awesome. of them. When does she become a wild card? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, milady. You uh, seem somewhat skilled at healing. Oh yes. Um, I was a nursemaid uh, before I was um assisting my um, lady here, and also a midwife. I guess that uh, is a blessing, of course, to have a skilled healer with us. Uh, however, it does uh, oh, yes, and <laughs> bring I've, uh... concern. Yeah, Heron, yes, also next time you get pregnant, the... you know who to call upon. To be fair, the next time he gets pregnant, he might have already called. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um... Norman, at this point, speaks forward. Um, my lady, I would suggest we bring this disreputable rapscallion back to um, uh, Lady Aileen. What I'm about sure the driver? she would know what to do with him. Oh, him? Mm. Well, he can drive the carriage, because we got a carriage now. It's ours. Um, is um, it really a good idea to drive this carriage back to town? 
It's, it's not, not that badly damaged. I mean, lightning can strike so many Yeah, things, and if like I just open times. the other door here and I, I'll push this dead guy out, then it's fine. For the, what is I push him out. He didn't fly out like the others. Oh, the, I think it's someone on the roof. Did you check? No, he fell off. What about the entrails? Uh, they're under the hooves of our horses. If it's all the same to you, I will take the uh, carriage we came in. Uh, fair ah. enough, but just for the record, Percy here, and I slap Percy on the shoulder again, knowing full well what exactly I'm patting, uh, knows this driver, so there might be something else there. Oh, me? Me? I never met this bastard before in my life. He's an arsehole. Oh, shut up, Percy. <laughs> this isn't the first shitty situation you've got me into. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's this one. He, he's a wind-up merchant, he is. <laughs> Not that I know him or anything. <laughs> I love these guys. Yeah. So, he's a useless tosser then, right, driver? He's a wanker, that's what he is. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Percy can't speak, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was beat his... You spat out the sock. <laughs> Heron, s <laughs> Heron says to the driver, Well, you must be somewhat of one too to consort with such a man on uh, a continuous basis, sir. I need the money, mate. Sir, Lovermore isn't exactly uh, full of uh, top paying jobs right now. Well. Hey, nice. So Which one is Lovermore again? The one that lets Majors live. Start a farm. Um but they keep them as slaves. Yeah. I yes. don't know both the evil ones. They keep track of them. It's like, um, you know, with all the uh, magical, magical slave-run factories days, there's not so much work for people like me. I was forced into this line of work. I got I'm made sorry, driving under... carriages. Magic slave factories. I don't uh, think this is actually uh, coming yeah, up. Yeah, um, oh, well, I mean, uh, no no offense to, to, to you lot. I mean, uh... well. Hey, shut up, shut up, all right? Shut, don't tell them about the magical slave factories. <laughs> That's Good. not going to endear them to us, is it? Is that truly how you treat magic users around here? That's. Oh, it's, uh, it's, oh, it's up to the king and his lot, you know? I mean, I don't make government policy. Have you two seen any of these? Or know anyone who has seen them? Or are they, or is this merely rumours? Oh, it's not a rumour. I mean, um... Be honest, the king and that... Uh, that dickhead, Ethelbert Gainsley, they're always crowing about it. So it's the next technological leap forward. What makes Lover more better than all the other nations? I think well, we can to be fair, too. kind of a step forward. I mean, at least the king doesn't think that he's the thing that makes their country better. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, apparently I, from slavery we, is. From what we saw of him, and from what little I heard between my nap, I'm at least mildly sure he thinks the sun shines out of his own arsehole. Ah, oh, he, he does think the sun shines out of his own arsehole, believe me. And he probably thinks he's the big, biggest boon to the agriculture of Lothamore, too. If you lived in the capital, mate, you have to hear his speeches every bloody week. Make speeches? Well, yeah, of course. I, like, last for hours. Bloody hell. Oh, well. I don't, I don't think, think he was great the both of them. More than three words together without a curse. He isn't. He still makes oh. speeches. Huh. Interesting. Where did oh. your sock go? This uh, is the carriage driver. Oh. <laughs> I if think you disagree use with both the of them so much, why are you not start? Why are you not rising up against them? Oh, You're just, kidding, right? I just do my job, mate. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I do not agree with the system as it stands. I mean, if it was up to me, I would be siding with you lot. Couch revolutionary. Yeah, you, you're not just saying that so we won't stab you, right? Ha, uh, I'm sure there's plenty of other reasons why you want to stab me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm currently debating it. If I was oh, going to stab gross. you in the thigh and leave you here to bleed out, or... Bring you along. No, bring me along, mate. I'm great company, honest. Mm, let's bring I think... him along. I, I don't no, he's think not, we he's need a wanker. To... <laughs> it's up to Flora. I'll be right back, guys. I just need to get my knife back from that charred corpse. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's um, up to Lady Flora. I do not think searching mm. miles of road for a knife embedded in a charred corpse is necessarily the best course of action right now. Oh, I'm going to the Far Swift. 
We're going back that way. There are more horsemen out there, we don't want you getting captured. We're, well, we're going that way anyway, so we'll just look when we pass them. Okay, do you want to start, you want to start heading back now? Yeah. Mm, definitely. And Flora does kind of probably mention as an aside to Nash that we're going to have to probably probe these guys for information about magical slave factories. I mean, that kind of thing was always... Mm -hmm. Poss like a possibility, like if Voldemort does keep mm. magic users alive right. in some form. Everyone who's just... looking out for Swift's knife, make me a notice roll. Oh, I'm totally looking out for Swift's knife. <laughs> <laughs> of course I am. Sorry, Swift, I can't find it anywhere. We'll just have to go on without it, I'm afraid. I spy with my little eye a charred corpse. A charred <laughs> trample corpse. I'm using my last Benny for that roll. <laughs> this is an important role. Fuck. Yeah, you are going to wish you kept a Benny. I'm probably going to wish I kept the Benny. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, I actually noticed it. I do believe. It. Um. Actually, yeah. Um. As uh, Heron. Is, Again, uh... low his score. <laughs> is Heron riding actually... along? He notices <laughs> a charred corpse with a knife embedded in it. Is he again gonna do what he did last time and not tell anyone? He'll just kind of nod at it. That's <laughs> 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 just what Heron does. He sees everything, but he just doesn't comment or do anything about it. He just kind of observes. Alright, you just gonna head on, uh, Heron? No, he'll he'll take the knife. I mean, he'll just go. He'll grab it. He'll not say anything to the kid, but he's gonna pick it up for the moment. All right, fair <laughs> enough. Okay, right. Uh, so you continue on. Say a prayer for the poor dead. Even Aww. if they're trying to kill us, you say, you say a drive by, you say some drive-by prayers for the um, uh, for the poor dead. Mm. As they get by the way, progressively worse. Where oh, yeah. are you going, in Steinberg? I do vote in favor of going back to Aileen because <laughs> she'll know she's what the to do only... with this. She can take those two. Yeah, she she covers up these sorts of catastrophes on a fairly regular basis I'm sure so she can get us any sort of well if we need to go undercover for a bit if we need to be cleaned up if we need to get rid of bodies or <laughs> she uh, give Percy to somewhere do. to store him because we are not <laughs> taking him back to the embassy uh, I don't know I think that Shen would quite like him oh yeah I mean bloody Albin's disappeared mysteriously now you bring back <laughs> a guy tied up <laughs> with like bullet wounds and blood stains and <laughs> scars and all that he's pretty he's... much got nothing but, but lightning scars I heard about the scars on us alright I don't have any you, scars um, you travel back to Steinberg I thought well we were sort of out, was it outskirts Steinberg or just kind of Outer limits of Steinberg. Outer limits. Yeah. Outer outskirts. Kind the of suburbs. You go back, slummy, slummy. You go back to the uh, Drunken Donkey Tavern. Once again, you ask for Carl. Well, wondering if we should... Well, the, the same procedure won't, might not work here because <laughs> we've got kind of obvious injuries and things just like walking in as one big group with guy tied up behind us. <laughs> we, you, we could, gotta... you could uh, untie him and just kind of lead him. I'll lead him. A... I think All it right. might be better if maybe just one or two of us go in, inform Aileen that you know we've got him out in a carriage outside. Uh... We're not going to bring him out into into I'm the least invisible obviously space. Wound. Uh, at least obviously wounded. I'm not wounded at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna go in. It's a rising suspicion. Given how much blood Flora's leaks, she might be about it if she goes into the uh, yeah. tavern. Of, like, I thought that carriage was really bad. By so now. Uh, me and Swift goes in. Ask for Carl. Okay. The less yeah. engine runs in. All right. Don't make sure no one comes up to our carriage and looks through the window you or anything like that. You give a special password. You go through the revolving door once again, and once more, there's Lean. Hey, oh. Lean. We 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 fought and fought. You know, we we broke a bar, and then we had a high speed chase, and then we have two prisoners that might be willing to testify in front of a world court about how Lothamore hired them by magical means. Hmm. Excellent. Oh, also, there's this water spirit thingy that comes through a river and gives them that gives them things to do, and we should probably look into that, but maybe not because I don't really know how to deal with the water spirit because I just shoot fire at things. Yeah, what Swift's uh, about to say is we bought, brought you a present. Oh, would this present be a rather irritating young man? A chance? Yeah, yes. What you said you'd kill next time you saw? We have him. 
Yeah. Ah, oh, well, fortunately, I won't be able to kill him, but uh, I'll be able to torture him, though. Yeah. So I've warmed fun. up for you nicely. <laughs> oh, good. Could you sign his teeth for me? I'm making a necklace. Well, we'll see about that. Thank you for not <laughs> killing him, though. Yeah. I'm a little, um, shocked. I Me? don't doubt it. I'm charred. No, 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 as in literally shocked. He's charred and stuff. So, you know, if you touch the right places, then you'll get a lot of pain out of him. It's like he comes pre-burned. Consider it like a, a branding present. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Oh, He's out some sort carriage. of kind of back way we can go round to like bring bring him into. Like, You're not there. Yeah. There's a, yes. Right, the disembodied fine. voice is correct. We've. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, is there like any place we can sneak they them in? They find like... you. They find you, you, you. They find you a back way in, kind of through the wine cellar, basically. If you want to take Percy in. Yeah. So, do uh, you do you want to bring him in then? Bring him in and the entire yeah, party. If, Okay, yeah, my, right. my good lady Eileen, may I present Percy, the affable dick? Here you go, the bag Percy? of shit. Ah, I remember you! <laughs> he can't, he can't point because he's tied up, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, oh yeah, Eileen, Sylvanus Silvermore, yeah, oh, oh, the elf lover, brilliant. Hey! He's <laughs> oh, the elf. Princeton. <sighs> well, it's one of his colourful jocularities. He's not particularly bright. Yeah, and we noticed. Obviously, being Lovamorian, he doesn't share our tolerance of elves and magic users. He's anti-magic user. This face just goes flat. Well, Lovamori, working for the Lovamorian Secret Service, I'm sure he's found a lot of Lov. He's found a lot of um, magic users in Lovamore and turned them into slaves. But uh, now he's going to realise a bit of what it's like to be a slave. <laughs> oh fuck! I mean, you know, can't you know? Can't we just uh, talk also? About this? We Maybe got this chap. Go? We got this chap. The carriage, the carriage driver. driver. <laughs> I pull him by the ear. Here you go. Dunk. Kick him I, forward. I just drive. I just drive the carriage. <laughs> yeah, you've but, worked uh... with Percy long enough. Mm. Aileen, I feel these two might be able to get a bit of a lighter sentence if they were to assist us in um, exposing a lot of the evils of Lovermore and helping possibly bring down the slave factories. That's kind of a shame. I was actually really looking forward to seeing you work. Hmm. I'm not sure if you do. It's going to be quite graphic. <laughs> um, I regularly shock and set people on fire enough that their bones are not only exposed, but explode. I laugh when I do this. Swift, please. I really don't want a uh, child to see this. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Besides, me and Percy here, we need some private time together to catch up. Ah, I hope you're not going to stick those knives in me again like last time. Oh, yes, but not enough to kill you. Take him away. She gestures to a couple of other... Secret agents. Goons. Goons. <laughs> yeah, they're right. Every goons. time no. the age. It's a curse, <laughs> She's crazy! Don't let her take me! <laughs> the door slams shut. Bye. You've uh, you've all done very good work. This should be um pretty much once we interrogate Percy for everything he knows and reveal it to the world. I'm sure this will completely unravel what remains of Lovermore's plans and make this alliance between Deridor and Lovermore almost impossible. I'm sure Artisia Vane isn't going to look well on an alliance that's been bungled so badly. Mm. You have, well, you've been here and you've been working here a lot longer than we have and have a lot more sensitive finger on the pulse of what goes on here. So do trust your judgment whether it will be wise and indeed necessary to investigate things like the the water spirit the yeah, water spirit that they use on a regular basis because i kind of assumed that lovermore's whole magical slaves thing meant that they wouldn't really have many spies they wouldn't tolerate it but i'm sure there is a great deal of magical phenomena that goes under their noses the lovermorean secret service uses its enslaved magic users who are brainwashed to be completely loyal oh. they use them for a lot of things 
and I'm sure summoning a water spirit would be among them. You know, mentally manipulating a mage is just such a cruel thing to do. I don't disagree with that. <sighs> so very dangerous. Anyway, that, yes. I mean, it you've... tends to make them just a little bit unstable from what I've been told. You've, uh... oh yes, sometimes it does. That's why we keep our magic users under close uh, watch for their own good. Isn't that right, Heron? <laughs> yes, that's uh, very true. We... <laughs> Heron it's seems cough, like he's you? hiding something. It's, uh, it's important to keep an eye on uh, the magic users. Mm -hmm. Just in case you understand. I'm sure you don't know any mentally unstable magic users. No, not at all. <sighs> Looking know, pointedly at Swift. <laughs> yeah, <that's some. laughs> now, uh, you've let Lady Artisia vain before, and um, she despises corruption and incompetence, and hopefully we'll be able to leak evidence of both. <sighs> anyway, for now, I would suggest you go and rest. I'll uh, come see me in a couple days, perhaps, and... Um, uh, I'll talk about this water spirit and what other things I can learn from Percy. Yeah, don't go easy on him. Oh, believe me, I wasn't planning to. And Good. if you do need any help with the whole, you know, zappy zappy, then let me know, please. I'd, I'd love to come watch. It, I, it would be a wonderful work experience. Please do not ask Swift to do that. Aileen, Aileen uh, nods. All right. Spoiler go, re sport. go rest up now. I'll see you later. She heads back into another secret door. <laughs> you so, need to ask. Do you uh, head back to the Jorokian embassy then? Yes. Yep, that's the best. Oh, well. After cleaning your clothes up a bit. Yeah, just kind of sort of thinking, turning up again. Hey, injuries and hey things Nash, like do you think this is like, this is particularly visible? Like, does this make me look weird? And I've got like a pole with a bullet wound behind it. You got enough holes. I'm not entirely sure if it scars or not. Okay, I'd like to point out. Uh, I should imagine I've gone back to the inn, right? To uh, get cleaned up. Back into the drunken donkey. Uh, well, oh that's... no, you're in. Okay. You're yeah. If everybody's in. gone to yeah, if we're going back <laughs> the to the uh... <laughs> if we're going <laughs> uh, to somewhere all bright and official, I'm actually going to put on my formal clothing. Oh, okay. You put on your formal clothing before heading Indeed. back into the embassy. Okay. I'm going um, to keep my. So no, you will head back weapons. into the embassy then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. As you walk in, you are greeted by Shen. Mm. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Um, Good evening, Shen. I've got a message for you. Um, a Lovamorian uh, attendant came earlier. He said a um, ambassador, Berkeley, would mm. like to see you. He ah. said um, there's a uh, pub that he seems to favour. We know the place. Um, Oh, all right. Um, he says he'd like to meet you there. We'll meet him yeah, shortly. <laughs> he says he'll be uh, waiting for you this evening. He'll be having drinks and uh, having some fun, he says. Thank you, Shen. Was there anything else? Uh, no, nothing else except... Uh, don't forget to give me the rest of my medicine. I won't forget. You can trust I me. I remind Nash every day. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. She goes back to her desk and starts scrabbling away again. I'll just nudge, uh, nudge Nash with the like with the measurement and say, "You are going to give her the medicine, right?" Yeah. Just checking. Because if not, we could probably sell that stuff because it was probably really expensive. <laughs> she, mentioned, she mentioned that it was really expensive before. Wow, you. you're an asshole. Okay. That's it. Do I hear them talking spirits. about this woman's medicine? Yep, yep, you do. Actually, but, you have no idea what they're talking about. Me me medicine? Women? Medicine? What's this about? <laughs> well, if I if she's been talking to, you know, and he just said, like, are we actually going to give her this medicine? It sounds like this woman's in desperate need of some medicine that Nash has. She'll That's get it when we're done. That's pretty, pretty That's much the, it, yeah. 
that's the impression that I'm getting. <laughs> okay, so if uh, Harren hears that, okay, it's uh, okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah doesn't, doesn't. He's not saying anything. <laughs> it doesn't say anything. Yeah. Okay. She's going to get so, some of that Nash want... medicine. Do you want to head to um, Berkeley's favorite pub? I'm just working out who's going. I don't think All we right. need Norman. Do we need Norman or and or Loretta? Depends. Do you want one of these bastards guiding you down the streets? And uh... <sighs> I'd guide. Uh, I'd guide her if she yeah. required it. Yeah. We'll leave Norman and Loretta behind, and I'll go with these jerkwads. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let me turn on the light in my room. It's getting. It's like that, is mm. it? So we're going into. Hey, the... I'll, I'll push you over. Oh, <laughs> so you would not do that. She puts her trust in you, and you'd be like. Oh, so, tripper, oh, tripper. We are going into the middle of a, no- a Lothamorian bar, right? Uh, it's it's a, it's, um, it's okay bar. It's it's just it's just a nice kind of uh, common bar. It, it, it's like one of those little out of the way hole in the wall places. Yeah, it's but like, like is it, is oh, it occupied God. primarily by like Lothamorians or whatever? Not primarily. No, it just because, seems to I mean, be. A... <clears throat> remember, we're in a we're in a neutral country. Mm-hmm. We're in Switzerland. Just, I don't really want to present the wrong image, and I'm thinking that if there are lots of Lothamorians and Derridonians, I'm probably going to want to take the plushie. <laughs> Yeah, there'll, because... there'll probably be all sorts of people in there. Yeah. It's very cosmopolitan. Bring the plushie. It's described. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Steinberg's the most cosmopolitan city in the world. It's just that I can't think of any way to make myself appear both more innocent, somehow, <laughs> and stay on sympathetic. Wear a dress. Have the gigantic... Stop saying you're going to burn everything. <laughs> That'd make you <laughs> yeah, we could get you a couple of crutches if you want to uh, try the Tiny Tim. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'd have to lose a leg for that one. I don't think I'd manage with that. Tiny Tim didn't lose a leg, did he? Tiny uh, Tim. He had like a really screwed up leg. Did he? Why else would he need crutches? I know there's something up with this leg. I didn't think that. Anyway. Oh, there was an operation before, wasn't there? I believe, I believe somebody bought Berkeley's favorite um, yes, I did. mead as well. I okay, did. So you've got like a, I'm gonna bring that. a jug of mead. Okay. All right. You're to bring that in Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Okay, right. Yep, you go down. It's a nice little. Uh, it's yeah. You know, it's a small pub, a little bit out of the way. It's one of those sort of places that tourists love to just discover because it's got so much local flavour to it. <laughs> oh God, I'm not dressed for this. Um, uh, you see, um, you know, Berkeley. He's just sort of sitting there having a laugh with a couple of his bodyguards. Right, it's point for table. Gonna need new clothing. This is the point where I don't say anything. Are you right? making any attempt to kind of hide yourselves? No. I I don't plan to. <laughs> Laura's All not right. very good at hiding. In that case, after a little while, Berkeley notices you. Ah, my lady, please come and join us. Mm. Matter to Berkeley, we'd be delighted to. We brought some just gifts. One moment. Quing. <laughs> <laughs> And there's our and little she does Ambassador have Berkeley. Bless. A so, uh, older grey man with his cane and his nice uh, purple clothes. He brought me you to a gift. My retainers. Retainers? And a gift? Brilliant. <laughs> so, where's my gift? Come on. Here you go, and I give him the bottle. Oh. My favourite kind. How did you know? We got our well. Ways. We got our ways. Mm. Huh? Stalker. <laughs> oh, you come prepared, I see. Mm. Well, Nash has a very good eye. He can just tell by looking at someone. Just say what their favorite drink is. Well, let's see. It sounds like you've been keeping an eye on me for your own safety. And to be honest, I don't really blame you. My countrymen aren't exactly uh, fond of your kind. Yeah, uh, uncorks the bottle. You mind if I have a drink? Help yourself, it's yours. Thank you very much. You're a good <laughs> lad, you are. <laughs> you would have to give any of our due caution. These are some sadly dangerous times. <laughs> they certainly are. You don't need to tell me about it. That is a very sober discussion. Ray, what is, what, what, um, what's been on your mind? Well, you might think it needs to be a sober discussion, 
but I think I might need a bit of drink for it. <sighs> Let me just ask you a question first, my lady, and, well, the rest of you, if you want to tell me. What do you think of our King Stanley? You've seen him. What do you yeah. think of him? He's a right cock. Mate. I'd appreciate it. He's an arsehole. Yeah, he's a right cock. What do you think, my lady? <sighs> I'm afraid I have not been brought up to use words so direct and blunt as my uh, as, as my followers <laughs> here. I can tell Stanley's Stanley's a victim of his own upbringing. While his heart may be in the right place, he's evidently a very self entitled king. Arsehole! <laughs> well, different ways of saying the same thing, I suppose. Mm. <laughs> Seems our other friend over there is a little bit polite, too polite to say anything. <laughs> of course, yes. It's uh, not my place to judge him. He's not my king. <laughs> Well, he is a man, and unfortunately, I have to agree, he's a bit of an entitled little shit sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I, when he was just a baby, I held him up in my arms, I saw him smiling, I saw him laughing. Oh, that was when he shit his pants for the first time. <laughs> Oh. Imagine in a Lion King situation. Bloody <laughs> hell. He was a loud one, even back then. Let uh, me tell you. I think he's girl. loud now. <laughs> oh, yes. But it was that same day I made a promise to his father. I would always protect that lad against anyone who'd do him harm, against anyone who'd lead him astray. Well, then you've got a problem with Gainsley. Very perceptive, mate. Very perceptive. Gainsley has led him astray. Our King Stanley, he's a builder. He's, he's good at building monuments. He's not a warrior or a fighter like his father. Gainsley's filled his head full of ideas of easy military victories and glory and conquering the world. It's not the time for that. It's the time to build. It's the time to make sure the peasants have enough to eat. I try and tell him, but Gainsley just has his ear because he promises him all this glory. He just wants to be better than his dad. I just try to make him understand it's not about being a better king. It's about being a good king for the time you're in. Wouldn't you agree? I would. He is more led by the heart and his desire than what the greater good need from him. Exactly. In in many ways, he's still a child. You see, he never really had a chance to grow up with so many courtiers kissing his ass and his dad dying too young. Speaking Protective. as a child, why, is, why does fighting a war make you a better king than living in peace? It doesn't. The history books, they tend to sing more great ballads about kings winning wars than kings making a good agricultural policy. So I guess that's why. Better to be known as the great than the conqueror. Nations don't want to look back on the sacrifices that, that their people made and not, not celebrate them. People are weird like that. <sighs> I guess... You probably don't like Lovermore very much <sighs> on account of, uh, you know, we've got so many of your kind of slaves. <sighs> and I can understand that. It's Gainsley who's pushing for more of that, not me. It sounds but... like we need to remove this Gainsley. Unfortunately, really, Nash. It's, <laughs> it's a solution. You're a pretty bold lad, aren't you? Just coming out and telling me you're going to kill uh, one of the God, members of the King's I'm cabinet. I'm going to do it. Con consider it a, um, a compliment to your sort of trustworthiness and sincerity that um, that he feels so so at ease being able to speak this way to you. 
And if it makes you feel any better, you can just tell yourself that he tells everyone that. That he's willing to kill other people for them. I didn't say well, I was gonna do it. This might be why I don't let him talk in the councils. Hmm. Gainsley himself. The Gainsley himself is only part of the problem. The problem is, is the idea he's put in Stanley's head. His silly ideas of using magical slaves for world conquest and all that bollocks. What? <sighs> I want to do is expose Gainsley, is humiliate him, show his plans are a load of bollocks that won't work. <laughs> kind of like you've been doing. <laughs> Good. <laughs> You've really been unraveling all his little schemes lately. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I do. Mm. We hope it is to um, a better end and we're not going to cause any possible damage or hurt people or hurt the innocents in the process. No, don't worry. I mean, I agree with you. This whole alliance with Deridon, I mean, it's only a matter of time before Deridon stabs us in the back after we've been fighting all those wars. We don't need any more wars. We just need to build. <sighs> Especially right now. I like to die peacefully without another bloody war breaking out. Have <sighs> you seen a lot of wars? Than that. I've seen plenty, lad. I've probably seen more wars than you are years old. That's a possibility. What are probably. Like? You don't want to know what they're like, lad. You don't want to know. But let me just tell you how I think we can unravel Gainsley's plans, humiliate him, show King Stanley that he's full of bollocks once and for all, and destroy this whole silly alliance idea. Gainsley, he has his little hooks in the Secret Service. He's got his hooks everywhere. And the reason is he's got some personal magical slaves which he uses as his base of power. He trains them to be loyal only to him, and he uses them in his schemes. I don't know if uh, you've ever been on the wrong side of any magic, but if you have been, I'd imagine it's one of Gainsley's magical slaves that are responsible for it. Ah, See, that I doesn't make sense know. to me. How do you make someone who has the power of a spirit behind them do a thing that they may or may not want to do? I don't... I'd like to think that I am not the sort of person that would be easily manipulated in that manner. It's not always an easy manipulation. Sometimes it can take 20 years to break a person down. Hang on a minute. Mm. Many years. Attack their heart, attack their spirit, uh, not the literal spirit, but there are a great many ways to break a person down. Are you talking I... about marriage, Bryos? I can show you a couple of ways if you want. Mm. Uh, <sighs> yeah, right. sure. Please, okay. please do, do not demonstrate. I think we have had enough demonstrations of what both of you can do recently. Good thing I wouldn't hear any of that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you, lad. That's another question you don't want to know the answer to, believe me. <sighs> anyway, there's one magical slave in particular that's the most powerful one of all of Gainsley's slaves. He's kept aboard the Royal Airship. Now, if you're up for it, I can smuggle you aboard and you can find this magical slave and bring him back with you. Bring him back to the world court. Show, show everyone what Gainsley's been doing. And that will not only take away his power, it'll also destroy his reputation too. We can try. We'll one we'll tiny of the mage question. after. Just one tiny, tiny question, because this seems like it might come up. The magic slave person that you want us to um, extract, ignoring the fact that that might be slightly difficult, are they the one that would be powering the airship we would be on? Because I've heard of that happening before. Very astute observation, lad. He would be one of the ones powering the airship. Oh, for Christ's sake. But don't worry. There's plenty. There's other ones to use as a backup. So don't save them worry. That would be best. Use as a backup. That seems kind of offensive. 
Uh, I'm okay, sorry that. about that, but uh, unfortunately, in love and more, magic users are treated like cattle. Why? Uh, we would have to play that very carefully if we were to shock and awe the um, the council with, well, exposing the evil by bringing one of Lothamore's best kept secrets, one of their top magic users, having made a slave. That might scare a lot of people. I well, can do shock if you can do all. Even if you can just extract him, that'll stop Gainsley doing any more of his plans. You've unraveled a few of his plans mm -hmm. now, but as long as he's got that magical slave, there's no end to the things he can still do. What becomes of the mage after? Well, that's up to you. I no, just want places to get rid them. of Gainsley's base of power and humiliate him. What you do um, with him afterwards, that's your problem. I need to ask you a question that may or may not be a state secret for Lothamore. Is it possible to break the brainwashy technique that you use? Depends. Depends not many on have what? tried. You see, the brainwashing effect, it's not just uh, done by years and years of mental torture. It's also machinery. Uh, to be honest, I don't really understand it myself. I'm not uh, a Magitech engineer. I don't know much about it as Gainsley does. But these magic users, they're hooked up to these machines that kind of stimulate their nerves, make them do things they wouldn't normally do. And combined with the mental torture and brainwashing, they're pretty much entirely obedient. But if you could unhook him from one of those machines, maybe he'd be pacified long enough for you to get him out of there. Or I'll just stab right, him. I really don't like Rothermore anymore. Now, <laughs> officially, I'm betraying the entire country right now. But unofficially, I know... Stopping Gainsley is the only thing that's going to save Lovermore and my king, who I love and am loyal to, before I'm dead. Which I will be soon enough, either way. Even though you've been dealing with his shit your whole life? Up half your Only life. half my life, fortunately. <laughs> what will you be doing whilst this mission goes underway? What will I be doing? I'll be keeping up appearances. I'll be trying to distract Gainsley much as I can. Not much, then. <laughs> uh, distracting Gainsley is an art all of itself. He's got eyes everywhere. How do we know that we can trust you? I want what's best for my country, lad. If what I'm doing right now... <sighs> if the right people were to hear about it, I'd be dead. Mm. So, uh, again... It's up to you, but this could be the only way of defeating Gainsley for good. No time is running short. It is, indeed. I am putting a huge amount of trust in you. You just need to put it in me as well. I'm not big on trust. Well... Let's just I... say we have a key common interest, then. I... I'm not so sure about this. Bright Eyes, what do you think we should do? I think if it is exactly as the Ambassador says, it would be a huge blow to both Gainsley and the greater plot happening here. I might not be good on trust, but I'm good with poisons. Mm. Well, did you enjoy your gift? I do dread to think what would, what we could if we continue to let this happen. No, I dread to think didn't. where the other more will end up. It's a slow-working poison. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. I'll give you the antidote once we're done. <laughs> Oh, very Again, clever. Again, Nash? Really? 
Well, this doesn't exactly put me trust in you. Well, we just needed something to use as leverage. All oh, right. So you were you... thinking of speeding me death up a couple of years, eh? Well, you should be fine as long as we're fine. <laughs> well, if you get found out and if you get tortured and you tell them what I've said to you, I will be very, very dead either way. So you, if you don't succeed, I'm dead anyway. Good. We're in the, in the understanding then. You have got to stop poisoning diplomats. This is getting beyond a joke now. <laughs> At this point, the guard, his uh, bodyguards look pretty angry. Ah, uh, don't worry. I understand you have to have insurance. Indeed. It's, it's my job. It's smart. And there's no way I would be doing this unless I had in no other options. Lady Flora, will you go along with my plan? Flora's been keeping a very calm, stony face <laughs> for a little while now. Yes. Yes, we will. Very well. Uh, life was nice while it lasted. He reaches forward to shake your hand. Yeah. Well, all right. I'll make the arrangements. One of my attendants will come. I'll get you smuggled. I'll get you smuggled aboard. Once you're aboard, you're on your own. My lady, I hope the next time you see each other, Gainsley will have been humiliated. Stanley's head will have been put right. He'll listen to me again. <laughs> and the world will be at peace. And you'll get your antidote. Well, that's the last thing I'm concerned about, funnily enough. But yes, that too. To remind, like, King Stanley, he needs a little humbling experience. He would not have had any in his upbringing. <laughs> yes, a good spanking is what the lad needs. Put him on the right track. Mm. Oh my. That would be a very interesting conclusion to uh, one of those massive meeting thingies. <laughs> Yeah, I'd almost pay to see that. Well, it's been nice, but uh, I'll have to bid you good day for now. Thank you yeah. for good your day, time, everyone. Ambassador. Yeah. Best of luck to all of you, for my sake, and for yours, and the whole world's. Gets up, starts to walk off. Leaving you alone. That was Are interesting. You sure about this, bright eyes. This seems. This is bordering on suicidal. Even for you. She will. Flora will reach across, get her cane, and then just stab it on the ground. Say, Nash, don't you dare poison any diplomats without informing me. I was only bluffing, you know. <laughs> Let me know before you do that. I wouldn't poison I do not without asking have... first. We needed a bit of leverage, okay? Then don't scare me like that. Well, you're easily scared. There's a lot to be worried about. Last thing I also need to worry about is uh, those at my side. Huh. I think it's a little late for that, Bright Eyes. Mm. As you all well know, we've been in fairly dangerous circumstances several times up to now to get here. What's one more little danger? Yeah. Little danger! Giant airship! At Get least enemies the, that the bigger us. the danger, the bigger the reward. If it was a big risk for very little reward, I would not consider this. Now, don't ask you to come with me if you do not wish to, but I fully intend to go. Alone, if necessary. Well, I'm going. So I'm with you. Glad I can count on you. Flora, you gain one penny. <laughs> Yay! Nice. I gain a penny. 
Fine. Heron, you've been rather quiet. <laughs> well, he's been listening. He's, uh... Mm. But out of character, like, he's not very smart and uh, <laughs> yeah. useful, and his wife, his wife does all the thinking, so essentially what he's just come to this group and it's Matt doing all the thinking there, so yeah, it's fine. You're thinking because the other like... guys do the stabbing, the burning, and the interrogation, which is most of what's happened otherwise. <laughs> and the bluffing, and the lying. Yeah. Basically anything deceitful. He didn't want to give uh, an impression of the king because that wouldn't be very, uh, that wouldn't be a, a, di a, a diplomatically, you know, good move or anything. So It's obvious he's an arsehole. Everyone knows he's an arsehole. It's just the majority of his subjects too fucking wimpy to say he's an arsehole. Yeah. A lot of them love their king, even though he is rather blustery. People like having someone at least full of themselves to look up to. I guess. Wish Unless... they pick something that's just a little bit mm. less stupid. They don't see his intelligence. It's not what they see. They just see the figureheads, possibly the speeches. The less contact they have, maybe the better. Well, yeah, but it's like watching a bone monkey play with a box of matches. And not in the good way. All right. Next session. The final session. The final chapter. Well, it might be a bit ambitious. You, you know <laughs> we're going to end up dragging it out somehow, so it yeah. have to be a part one, part two of the... Ooh, this airship's very interesting. Let's explore every room. <laughs> Loot Probably... Look under the pillows. Probably will. Are you actually going to make a map for them? Uh, have a the conversation with everybody, including the toilet cleaners. What's your <laughs> life story? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. Well, um, while the party works out how to extend one session into two... Uh, oh, we'll yes. manage it. We won't work it out. We'll just manage it. This has been Path of Faeon. We'll see you next time yeah. in the final session. Yeah. Bye! Bye. Bye.